proper time. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Hello? Hello? Yes. Um, do you want a um, proper work count website for the Quran? Proper website for the Quran? I have one, no problem. Yeah. No, no, but the one you're using is actually really bad. Oh, okay. Well, you can give me uh, no problem. What website is that? Uh, I'll send it to you. Okay, no problem. Are you a Muslim? You are a Muslim, so why you don't talk to me about Islam? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't open website. I don't trust really. Sorry. Now, what, uh, why you don't tell uh, me about Islam? Yeah, just uh, type in corpus. Print no problem. No problem. What What do you think? Why you are a Muslim, my friend? What do you think about Allah being deaf? Do Allah hear us? Yes. Okay, what is your proof that Allah so if Allah hear us why he never spoke to Muhammad never spoke never spoke to him How come Muhammad never heard Allah? So what do you think? Um, he went to him at the night journey, right? Yeah, but he did he talk to him. I don't know. I never heard that see okay So Allah he don't talk Allah he sent Jibreel and Jibreel he talk who is Jibreel an angel Okay, how we know that this guy is an angel isn't it your prophet? He said that this guy he looked like the heel kill me no, I don't know. Yeah, the hadith. Let me show you, my friend. It says that the prophet, his your prophet said, not me, that Jibreel he come to him in the image of a man who is the neighbor of Muhammad, who is a very handsome boy, youth or man. His name is the Hilkal. Be read with me. It says here, your prophet speaking, and this is Sahih hadith, as you see, that Jibreel he come to me in the image of the Hilkal. Do you see it? That was Jibreel. Peace be upon you who came down in the form of the hill Kalbi. The hill Kalbi, obviously, he is a homo. So now, yeah, I if don't... I see the hill Kalbi in the street, I will think he is Jibreel. So, how this is, I mean, what is the point of this? People they will walk in the street and they will see the hill Kalbi because he's a guy who lived there between them. They might think that this is Jibreel. How we will know now who is who and who is who? Like uh, Muhammad Hijab, when he said to David Wood, he said, Show me, answer me. How we will know who is who? And who is he? Okay, now who is who and who is he? He is David, he is a Dahia or he is Jibreel? Who is who? Yeah. Don't you think this is, will make a confusion? Yeah. Okay, so how we can solve this problem now? Who is who? Yeah, I don't know. Mm. And how your prophet will know that this is now Jibreel? I mean, he will squeeze him, what he will do to him? Because if the hill can become to Muhammad now, he might think this is Jibreel. How we will know that he was seeing the real Jibreel when he see the hill can be? Um... And he is the same yeah. guy who your prophet he sent him to speak or to send a message to the king of the Roman because yes. he's very handsome. Okay, so why Jibreel coming in the form of the Hill Kalbi? Didn't Muhammad see him as an angel? Yeah, but he's coming to him now as a man. He's not uh, coming as an angel no more, as you see, my friend. He's not coming as an angel now. He is coming as a man, and uh, a man who is his neighbor who lives not far away from him. And he's a very handsome, beautiful boy. So Muhammad, he claimed that this is his neighbor. He come to him because his wives, they start complaining. Why this guy, he, he always come to the house late at night. And Muhammad, he tried to find an excuse. He don't want to say that he is having a date with him. He don't want to say that he is a gay or something. So he claimed that his, this is Jibreel. Yeah, I, I understand. Hmm. What do you understand now? Uh, it's kind of confused but but you don't you think this is fishy my friend yeah just a little bit okay what do you say okay so Muhammad cannot be a prophet my friend what is that I mean why an angel of God he want to transform himself became a transformer so now he is coming to him in the image of a guy who is very handsome who live in town imagine uh, the president of uh, USA Trump you know he come to my door and he says I am Jibreel now I have to believe him because obviously Jibreel he changed his look to be like people we know yeah. right so how we can yeah. trust Muhammad saying that what if the postman he come to your house he knock at the door and he's a postman and here at the door he said to you I'm Jibreel how I will know that yeah. this is not Jibreel now maybe because uh, Jibreel showed him a sign that it is he how he signed he just came to him as Jibreel as a as a the hill kill me here that's it this is the only he don't even have an ID from Allah 
like they don't have like ID at that time like FBI they show you ID and you say and the number you can call the number and you can check even online how you will know yeah. that this is Jibreel um, yeah I don't really know mm. well now to us us to us two of us we do not know we need one two more we can play cards let me ask you a very simple question why you think Islam is true religion you as a Muslim what make you believe in this religion mm. The Quran itself. Quran itself, like what? Like, um, for example, mm -hmm. uh, for, for example, like, uh, have you heard of the old and evil, uh, old and even miracle of the Quran? Uh, give me some. I heard of it, but I found that it's uh, all of it's it's a lie. Give me what is like what. Like the, like I just said, the old and even one. How is, is yeah. it really all time? My friend, let I, I no problem. But I, I, I studied those things and I found it is a big fat lie. There's nothing true there. You know. Oh, I was. Can you show me, please? Okay, let me find a website. Uh, yeah. So we can check them out together. <clears throat> All right, I'm trying to find a Muslim website. Okay, all right, look like we found one. Okay, let's see if this one will work. Okay. As you see, that the three verses of uh, 89 surah draws. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. Surah number total even. Hmm. Now we want the one who says the word exactly, etc. Look like this is not the one. Let us see something else. Hold on. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, but I mean, uh, if that really is a coincidence, because in the time of Muhammad, the Quran was written on animal skin, bones, rocks. Man. They didn't even, yeah, okay. They didn't, now, no, this is all is a lie. No, this is all Photoshop, my friend. I can put your name now in, in my TV, and I can put it in my curtain. I can put it in a donkey. I can put it anywhere. Let us see. Word. Life. Just trying to find a website so we can show people here. All right, let's see. Uh, all right, let us see. Word count. Okay, let us see. Maybe this one here. Uh, this is just wiki, wiki something. We don't want wiki. Miracle of the Quran. Okay. Islam. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> All right. Do you see what it says here? Do you see the screen, my friend? I'm not seeing it right now. Can you look at the screen with me? Yeah, but if I do, that you you are going to hear uh, hear yourself because I you am. Can mute, you can mute. You can mute the YouTube. You can click at the speaker and mute it. You know, uh, because I want you to see the screen with me. You know, as an example here, they say that the word dunya, dunya appear one hundred fifteen time, and the word akhira appear one hundred fifteen time, which means dunya yeah. is here, now. And Akhira yeah. is here after. Okay, so one fifteen. Yeah. Let us check if this is true yeah. or not. Do you yeah, see? Yeah, but it? you can uh, you, you can uh, do that on the website I sent. Just type in Google. Yeah, no problem. Google. Here we go. We will do it in this website. Here we go. This is a Muslim website anyway. Uh, okay, Dunya. After you, I will type yeah, the word Dunya, my friend. I will type the word Dunya, yeah. and everybody will see. Think, 
Yeah, but after you click on this, you have to click on Quran Dictionary. Uh, it's the, above. the word dunya appear here 128 times. Um, uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And he was always in the house of your prophet. Yeah, I don't really know. Mm -hmm. Think with me, think with me. How we will know? Maybe. Uh, yeah, but click on the Quran Dictionary. What Quran dictionary? Where is where, what Quran dictionary? Uh, it's. Uh, did you go on my website? This is your website. Yeah. You are the one uh, who made that website. No, no, no. But I the link I've sent to you. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. This is the website you want. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that, I will type is... the word dunya. I will type the word dunya there. And make on Quran uh, dictionary on yeah. left above. Well, we are in Quran dictionary already. Okay, the word dunya. Okay, it says result of 50, 115 steam. But this is what this is all meaning, or this is a specific. Uh... Okay, that's actually how the actual word dunya is repeated in the Quran. Mm, okay, all right, here it says that it is 115. Mm, okay, and how who is the one who I mean why why we are searching in the dictionary? We are not searching in the Quran itself uh, Because for example mm. uh, When you uh, click on uh, we all know Adam is mentioned 25 mm. times mm. But when you click on uh, yeah. when you type in Adam we have the dictionary all right it you see, you I just I just type the word Akhira it appear in zero and That that uh, can't be true Akhira it come as zero here we go i click at akhira obviously this is not right it says there's no akhira you see try here after search this is why it's better if we search the whole quran normally not what it's called dictionary because obviously it's not working good you know uh, just because, type in here after because if we search here in this website as an example if i search the word akhira the word akhira will appear yeah but uh, can you type in the word here after instead of uh, akhira yeah, but okay. Let us see. Let us see if we take al uh, uh, like you see here. Will al akhira? It doesn't even come with the al akhira. It's came like uh, al akhira sometime. Will akhira sometime? So look like those people they play games. If we go here and we type with their game, and the website is not even working. See, it says HP status five hundred mistake. Oh, it's not working. Let me try again. A bit without copy paste. Okay. Yeah. If we go here, if we go, we have no choice, my friend. If we go here, Al Akhira, as you see, it shows in front of you. It appeared 200, 221 times. Yeah, but so, that's not accurate. No, it, it, why it's not? We can go one by one. Here we go. The word Akhira is even highlighted. You see? The word Akhira. Because the Akhira is the same as the Akhir, William al Akhir, right? So this is a false fabrication. William al Akhir is the same as the Akhira. So this is a fabrication the Muslims they come with to make to fool us with numbers that are not exist. Let us take another number. Let us take another 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 lie. Hold on. Uh, the word angel, malaik, malaika, and the word shaitan. They say that the word shaitan appear eighty eight time, and the word angels appear eighty eight time. Is that true? Let us see. Okay, I will type the word shaitan. You speak Arabic, right? No. No? Okay, too bad. I will type shaitan for you here. Hmm. Let us see how many times the word will appear. It is 78 times shaitan. Only. Did you use my website? Your website is not working. I showed you. Oh, here we go. All right, but you, you can... Okay. Here we go. I would my do it in the front of your eyes, my friend. I would do it in front of your eyes. Here we go. I would type the word shaitan. Let us see. Shaitan. And then click on Quran dictionary. In your website, the word shaitan appear number 68 times. Do you see it? Yeah, but click on Quran dictionary. This is Quran dictionary. Isn't it? Oh, let us go to God. Okay. okay. Let us go to Quran dictionary. Okay. It says here how many times? It doesn't show how many times. Where is the number? It doesn't show. Let's say shaitan, but it doesn't show how many times. Hmm. Where we will find how many times? <clears throat> Let us do it again. 
Now we type shaitan. Here we go. It's 68. I am I am searching in the dictionary. 68 time. When I used it, it was 88. And as you see, look here, if you look with me, it says a yeah. shaitan. Not even just only a shaitan, which means it's showing us all the roots. So Wait. even with all the roots, we did not receive the 88. We receive only 68. Wait, wait. Can you um for uh for example, can you type in how many times Allah is mentioned? How many times the word Allah mentioned? Okay, no problem. Here we go. I will type Allah. It's not working. Give an error. You see, I type Allah. I it's know. better to uh, type it in English instead of Arabic. Yeah, but in Arabic will not give us an accurate because Allah sometimes they put the word Allah, but it's not there Because sometimes the translator he add the word Allah to explain to you that Allah is the one who's talking right So we yeah, have to do it. We have to do it in Arabic, right? Let us go here and see Allah how many time Allah appeared. I will type the word Allah in the search engine Both are your Islamic websites. I mean it is 1566 time how many times is Allah mentioned? One thousand five hundred sixty-six times. Uh, but you can see it under how many times it's actually mentioned because Allah is also mentioned. My friend, they can... my friend, let me go to another website. I will help you. Okay, just to make you happy. Yeah, but search, uh, word... search truth.com. I will go to search truth.com. Okay, hold on. This is the word. Which word do you want me to search? Allah. Yeah. Okay. In the in here, it's one thousand seven hundred forty-six time. It's actually not accurate because Allah is mentioned two thousand six hundred and ninety-nine. Okay, it says here all the words. That's a false search, my friend. You see, it says all the words, not one. Any word? Let me put any word. Here we go. Let's see if the number will increase. Still the same. If we make exact phrase, and this should be exact phrase actually. That will make it 1567. So the Muslim they fabricate for us. Let us go to Shaitan. Let us see Shaitan. They say Shaitan. Yeah. Hold on. Dunya. Dunya. They said 88 and Akhira is 88. Let us do the Dunya. Dunya. Type Dunya in the front of your eyes. Dunya. Okay. Hold. Hold. Click search. The word Dunya not even found once if we do exact. I will do any word. Because yeah. always come as a dunya, not dunya, right? A dunya, not dunya. So here, yeah. okay, we will find that the word dunya appear one hundred eleven time, not eighty eight as they said. So why they lie? If we say the word akhira, let me let us type the word akhira because they said the word dunya is eighty eight and the word akhira, which means the hereafter, is eighty eight. Yeah. Okay. It's 110. Why they lie? Where is the 88? If we type yeah. the word, let us go on to the to the website. They say is the word malaika is 88 and shaitan. We, we check that is already is a lie. The word life is 145 and the word death is 145. Let us check that. No, that's false. That's false, right? So why they are lying, my friend? As long as you are yourself, you are saying to me this is false. Why they are lying? No, but the angel and devil and what on here after is actually true. Which one? The angels? Yeah. The angels and the shaitan 88? Yeah. No, my friend, here we go. Let me do it again in front of your yeah. eyes. Let me do it. Let me after do it. Your, after my, your stream, I'll send the uh, my link. Friend, no, no, my friend, let I'll me show it. Asking. You send me the link. I send, I, I try your website. I try this website. I try the other website. It's a lie. Okay. Let us see. Al Malaika. Which one it was in the English? It was okay. Hold on, Shaitan, Satan. You you want to you want to try English? It, English will make it appear more. Let us try English. No problem. Here we yeah. go. I will do in English. No I, problem. I will make you happy. Guess. English. Here we go. I will do English. Which translation you want? Uh, just do devil. Hmm. Big tal. Okay. Just let us I see. Do. Big tal. Okay. Here we go. Uh, it is. Have... It appeared thirty-two time in uh, the English uh, translation uh, of Big tal. Yeah, but you have to do it on my website and then click okay, on let us do it on your website. No problem. Let us do it in your website. I will type the word shaitan. Isn't it funny that the word shaitan will appear to you in English but will not appear in, in Arabic? It's yeah, not even it found. 
No, it see, shows you because what? my my friend, your Quran dictionary work only with the Arabic, not with English. When I type the word in there, it doesn't even appear. Here we go. I will type the word shaitan for you. Look with me. This is the word. This is English shaitan. I click go. It says zero, not found. So your dictionary here work only in Arabic. And if I type Arabic, guess what? It's fault number yeah, two. Here we go. This is your website. Shaitan. Yeah. It appears 68 times. Do you see it? Yeah, yeah, but can you type in devil? Devil? There's no devil in the Quran. This is Shaitan. Shaitan is a devil. Your dictionary work only in Arabic. Are you listening? No, no, it, it doesn't actually. You have to type it in. Uh, good. Uh, type it in what? For, for example, just type in uh, forgiveness Forgi in, in English. Okay, forgiveness. So if we type forgiveness, that will appear. And then click on the Quran dictionary. Okay, I will type forgiveness for you in the search engine. Let us see how many times it's going to appear. Okay, it appears 75 times. What? what? 75 times. What? 75 times. In your website they lie to you so even in English and, and by the oh. way how you can search for the word in English shouldn't you search for it in Arabic because this is an Arabic book yeah but though after you type it in in, in English they'll show you all the verses where it's measured yeah in Arabic. okay it's 75 times what they say in their That's website well let us go and find forgiveness in here how many times the word forgiveness appear here let us see let us love to God my friend all is a horse all is a lie where is the word forgiveness? I don't see it. Do you see the word forgiveness? I see yeah. blessing. I see magic. I see uh, Iblis. I see benefit. Life shit. I don't see forgiveness. Do you yeah, see forgiveness? I'll show you. I'll show you. Hmm. I'll send it to you in the link. Hmm. You know, I have a challenge to all the Muslims to make a video and show us the numbers they claim. It's a big fat lie. All those numbers are a big fat lie. There's nothing truthful there. Yeah, I, I send it. All right. Let us see. All right. Okay. Maghfira. How many times the word Maghfira? It doesn't count. Where, where the count is? Let's check. You have to go all the way up. And you think about forgive, not only Maghfira, Maghfira, Yaghfuru, Yistaghfiru, Sayaghfuru, etc. So this is show you all the total of the words. Is it? All. Oh. Okay, yeah. but okay, money. How many? How many according to you? Me. How many according to your uh, your miracle? How many we should have? The word maghfira. Um, two hundred and forty-three. Uh, two hundred and forty-three. Oh, uh, uh, two hundred and thirty-four. Hmm. Is you can count one million like not too many. Is some uh, thirty something is up. Let us see here if we one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven, eight, nine, ten. So every let us see. Okay, we, you see, hold on. Look, look, look I, will, I will measure here space. I will measure my space here. I will highlight with my pen. Every this the frame if we have a frame ten. So every one of them is ten. So okay, this is ten. Oh, hold on. Let us be sure. Let us be sure. Sound is broken in the live stream. Now go on, guys. Some people are saying that. Guys, do you hear me? Is the sound good? I'm breaking. Okay, they are saying I'm, I'm saying that my voice is breaking. Do you hear me, my friend? Yeah. I hear you. Okay. Uh, Christian Prince. Yeah. Uh, we are trying to claim the word 
uh, forgiveness is mentioned twice as more as reward or punishment. Okay, what is the word punishment in Arabic? Uh, the, uh, punishment or reward. Okay, uh, hold on here. What I, I, I found a solution. Look at this. The word, uh, the, the word, okay, it says here that the word occur 234. Do you see it? Yes. Okay. What is the word you say? You want the opposite word? Uh, no, it's mentioned twice as more. As, what is uh, that? Payment or reward. What is the word for reward? Sorry. What is the word you want me to search for? Um, I'll, I'll send it to you. No, no, tell me the word. What is the word? Uh, it's payment or reward. It's, uh, I think it's called jizya. Jizya is a reward? Jizya is a yeah. penalty? Uh, no, no, no. It's, uh, you mean jizya? Jizya, yeah. Some. Huh. Okay. Wait, I'll send it to you. Okay. What is the connection between ghafra and the word reward? How we can make connection? They are not the opposite in, in the meaning. Yeah. Yeah. Says in Bukhara, my mercy overpowers my wrath. Yeah, my friend. But this is not have nothing to do with each other. What this? What the word ghafra, which means forgive, and the word reward have to do together? Uh, yeah, you have to compare we between Rafara and and uh, he, he did not uh, uh, forgive forgive and not forgive we, we we have like you say angel and say shaitan as an example right yeah okay uh, hold on how many time you told me uh, as long now we figure out how this thing works how many time the word shaitan should appear 88 time correct yes okay I will type the word shaitan that would be easier all right see the word shaitan is 68 Okay, what is wait, the wait. other word? The other word is Malaika. You see the same website? I'm not using a new website. I mean, this is this is your website. Malaika, right? Let's see how many times the word Malaika will appear. I will copy. So Shaitan is 68, not 88. And now yeah. I will go here oh. and I will post the word Malaika. Yeah, okay. I'll show you. All right. Hold my, my friend. It, here we go. It says here that even Malaika here is coming as 68. So yeah, both numbers are wrong because 88 in, in your website it says in your Islamic claim here is coming 68. Yeah, I'll send it to you right now. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Shaitan. Okay. But doesn't say how many times here. How many times? 88. How many times? 88. Oh. 88 okay shaitan so what how you what what did you type there um i i used my uh i used a uh i went on some guy's facebook and i copied that link no no no. how this is a link so this is a this is a prepared link is not a search is it a no, search no, no. no uh the other one i gave you was a was not a prepared one I my friend how come in the search this is a prepared this is their claim so they are fabricating things because when we click at the search how come we don't find the same result yeah but the other one about uh, forgiveness i uh, i searched it myself but i didn't know how to my uh, friend type let me it. let me show you let me show you what the muslims they are showing you here we go this is your website the one you send me do you see the word there yes okay this is not shaitan this is a lie because these letters are missing. Where is here? It says ish ta noon. Do you see the letters? Ish ta noon. But shaitan is not ish ta noon. There's ya, there's alif is missing. So look what they do. They took off letters and they made their own their own uh, uh, false list to make it fit with their claim. If you wanna if you wanna search for shaitan, then search for shaitan. Why they are not typing the word shaitan? If you go here, you will see. They are saying this is the word shaitan. Do you see the word shaitan? Yes. This is the word shaitan in the correct way. But what they are searching for? This or this? Because if I type the same word, here we go. I, I will copy the same word in the front of you. This is the word shaitan. The same as it is in their website. Okay? I would do copy. And then I will yes. go to the search engine. And I will pause the word shaitan. And then I will click. Let me make it wider so you can see. I will click at go. It's not coming. Trick again. It's not coming. It's an error. Oh. My friend, all is all of this is a fabrication. It's not true. Yep. 
All of this yeah, is fabrication. All of this is fabrication. This is this is proven to be false. And I made many tons of videos about it. And you know, uh, uh, let us say for the sake of argument, there is a book have equal numbers of words. Is that really proof that this is from God? So Allah says that nobody could produce a book like the Quran. Okay, but uh, but Muhammad, Muhammad, he received satanic verses, and Muhammad himself did not discover that this is satanic verses. And the same yeah. time, if nobody can make Quran like the Quran of Allah, isn't it Omar who said that Allah he took Quran from me? Isn't it Omar Sorry. who said, or Omar he said, that yeah. Allah he agree with me in three things. Actually, some they say five and some they say eight. وَفَقَنِي رَبِّي فِي ثلاث. Allah agree with me in three things. And even the yeah. the uh, uh, Allah, uh, uh, he sent the verses exactly as he said, read with me. Omar said, I agreed with Allah in three things, or said, my Lord agreed with me in three things. I said, oh Allah Apostle, would you took the station of Abraham as a, as a station for a prayer? I also said, oh Allah Apostle, uh, good and bad persons visit you. So he, he's repeating. So the, the Kaaba, why Muslim they pray to the Kaaba? Because Omar, he says so. Why the Muslim men, they have, uh, the Muslim women, they have to wear hijab? Because Omar, he was making fun of the wife of Muhammad Sauda, and he said to her, Arif Naki, ya Sauda, she was doing poo poo. Why you Muslims, uh, 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 why Muhammad, he uh, made the verses about uh, threatening his wife to get divorced? Because Omar said so exactly, and look, it says here, and Allah, he sent the verse, as I said. So Omar, he made Quran, and Allah copied the Quran of Omar. So how, the, how Muslim they say that, uh, 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 nobody can make Quran, but Allah Himself taking the Quran from Omar. Yeah. How this happen? If I am Omar, and I just said something, and then Allah He take it and He make a Quran. Yeah. How this can be? What do you think? Mm. Did Allah edit it to His Quran? Yes, and He that... took it as it is. He shown you. He shown you that even even the Kaaba, it was it was a choice of uh, of Omar. You know. Yeah, it was maybe. the choice of Omar, my friend. It was not. It was not the choice of Muhammad or Allah. And not only that, uh, 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 he he added. He says, and then Allah he sent it exactly as I said. Yeah. So how this can be? Nobody can make Quran, but Allah he's copying Quran from Omar. What do you say? Do you see? Do you see with me in the screen? It says, as I said. Do you see it? Just to yeah. show you, I'm not making things up. Read with me. So the verse, the verse huh, revealed the same as I had said was revealed. Do you see it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, but nobody can make Quran. <laughs> nobody can make Quran. But Allah is copying Omar words and making it Quran. The only explanation I can give is that Allah knew that Omar would do that and he added that to his Wow. My friend, he should inspire Muhammad or 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 Omar. Who is the one, the prophet here? Look like you Muslims. You have two prophets. You have Omar and you have Muhammad. Because if Omar, why Muhammad? Actually, I can show you that uh, uh, Omar he was saying to Muhammad to order to the hijab many times, and Muhammad don't respond. And so you are saying to me that Allah he knew Omar will say that, right? Okay. There's one of two options. Either Allah inspire Omar to say so. And that make Omar a prophet of God. And now you have two Muslim prophets of God, Muhammad and Omar. Do you Muslims believe that Omar was a prophet? He prophesied for God? No, no, we don't. Okay. That. Why Allah did not say the verses to Muhammad before Omar mentioned them? Uh, sorry. Why Allah did not inspire? Why why Omar is the one? Okay, look, look how important the topic. Prayer to the Kaaba, it was the idea of Omar. This is very important. You Muslims now, you are, you are praying in direction of the Kaaba because of Omar. He is the one who made the verses. And obviously, Muhammad, he heard Omar. He took it. He liked what he said. He put it in the Quran as it is. This is exactly what happened. This guy, he hear things and he added as it is in his Quran. And Omar, he noticed that. He noticed this is what I said to him. This is why he's saying the verses came as I said. Omar is not stupid. I am the one who said that to him. Yeah, yeah. And he was saying that in the front of Muhammad, not in his back, right? Did Muhammad yeah. say to him, No, you did not say that to me? No. Did he say to me, you said no? Because Muhammad he knew he was a student from Omar. So yeah. if this is inspiration of God coming from God to Muhammad, 
and the Quran is a miracle and nobody can make Quran like the Quran of Muhammad how the Quran is copied from Omar mm. that is a stupid same time uh, you know when the Muslims they count the words in the Quran and then we find that all the words they count is nothing but a fiction and a lie why why they are coming with those fictions and what is the point trying to make the Quran a miracle let me let me show you that the Muslims when they do that they expose Allah let me show you my friend is it Allah he said in the Quran that Allah refrained from sending miracles okay how Allah he refrained from sending miracles but yet the count of the numbers of the words is a miracle according to Muslims that's mean Allah is a liar chapter mm. chapter 17 verse number 59 read with me carefully my friend and we yeah. refrain we refrain from sending signs only because the men of former generation treated them as false so Allah refrain yeah, but me, but the Quran, uh, for, for example, if the Quran has miracles, then Allah is actually mentioning the actual miracles uh, from sending signs. Is well, if if the, uh, if the numbers of the words are are miracle too, that means it's a miracle. So either you say it's an actual miracle or you say it's a fabrication we made. Why Muhammad did not know that? Why Muhammad did not say to you the word Shaitan mentioned eighty eight time and the word Angel mentioned eight eighty time? You do not know, right? You will say to me, Muhammad do not know. So you Muslims, you know what Muhammad do not know. That would be funny. The Prophet himself who brought the book to you, he do not know. This is an insult to Muhammad actually. That's mean Muhammad, you do not know what he brought. That's mean Allah did not tell him. That's mean Allah inspire you and he did not inspire Muhammad. That's mean you are a prophet. The one who discovered this, which is false, is a prophet. This is all the Muslims, they are desperate trying to find a miracle for their prophet who have no miracles. We have yeah. Jesus who resurrect people from death. We have Jesus who make the blind see. We have Jesus who, who created from the mother bird. We have Jesus who can tell you even what you hide in your houses. And the Quran says nobody knows the unseen save Allah, correct? But Jesus yeah. can tell you what you hide in your houses. So all of this for Jesus, but Muhammad have zero. And the Quran confirmed that Allah, he refrained from sending miracle. And then you say to me that nobody can make Quran like Quran, correct? Yeah. Okay, but how he say, hold on, my friend, how he say nobody can make Quran like this Quran, but he says in the same time we refrain from sending miracle because by saying this verse, you just made a miracle if the Quran is a miracle. Yeah, but it's actually mentioning the real types, uh, the real, uh, uh, the real types of miracles that cannot be, for example, when Jesus, for, for example, blind, uh, healed the sick or healed the blind. Mm. Those are miracles that science can't explain, mm. right? It's mm. mentioning it's, it's actually mentioning uh, mentioning that types of miracles, real miracles, not but like my, my friend, my friend. Where in the Quran it says he is mentioning that kind of miracle, not a miracle. I mean, if the Quran isn't it, the Quran says that uh, make a book like this if you can. And you Muslim, you keep saying that this is a miracle. So now suddenly the Quran is not a miracle. Either we say it's a miracle. Or we say it's not a miracle. There is no such a thing, such a type of miracle. Miracle is a miracle. God miracle is is a miracle. So obviously the Muslims they are desperate to trying to find something about their God to make it look like there is something amazing. Same time, what kind of God? He says stupid things. Do you think God he speaks stupid? Okay. How Allah he created the baby in the Quran? Is it true that Allah he says that he made the the sperm became a, a congealed blood? It says Allah. Huh? Yeah, alaqa. What alaqa mean? Is it isn't it alaqa? Mean a congealed yeah. blood, dead blood? How such a mistake happen? Uh, it means uh of blood. It means a leech, and it means hanging. No, leech, leech, my friend. Alaqa in Arabic mean a congealed dead blood. Alaqa is not the same as al alaqa. When you speak about an insect, that is different. He did not say al alaqa. He said thumma nutfa thumma alaqa. So. Did your God Allah speak about the insect? It's called alaqa, or He speak about something else, which is the blood. It is the blood. Not, so alaqa not, doesn't mean a leech. No, no. It is. It is the dead blood, which usually, you know, if you if you injure yourself, if you injure yourself, you will have a piece of a blood covering your skin, right, from the injury location to stop the bleeding. Correct. Yeah. That is alaqa. I can go right now and show you. What it says in the dictionary not only that if we go to all Islamic interpretation or translation we will find all of them they agree that this is what it is yeah okay yeah. so why okay let me ask you why all the Muslim translation or interpretation don't say that alaqa mean a leech or 
mm. as an insect why they don't mention that simply because it's not yeah. you know what I mean why does it the Quran dictionary say that it is a leech Th this is a fabrication but this is not a dictionary this is a lie Muslim they are lying my friend this is no leech here we go which interpretation you like me to show you my friend choose for yeah. me any interpretation of your choice in the front of everybody I will show it to you on the screen because yeah. if they are saying that that website is made to fabricate and designed to fabricate and to lie otherwise you need to show me one Muslim interpreter he come with the interpretation that this is a word mean etc uh, unless all the Muslims who do interpretation they are liars you know yeah so here we go what what is the verse we are talking about okay let us see let us see which verse you want me my friend which which one which verse you want me to to check for you about Allah there's many verses mentioned the word Allah which verse you want me choose one of your your choices uh, you can just speak <clears throat> which one there's 22 5 uh, uh, there is uh, uh, 20 23 14 what do you want uh, you can uh, pick okay 23 14 because this is a short one okay but but be, before before we go there do you see here it says let me translate for you those who speak Arabic they knew a frozen blood or let us say uh, solid blood and nutfa became alaqa which is a solid blood all right and this is what yeah. this is the interpretation of ajalalain i will show you ajalalain in english the same one okay 23 14 in english and this is our problem with muslims there's no there is no you know uh, uh, honesty here we go yeah. this is tafsir ajalalain the, the same one i showed you in arabic it is now in english translated by you this is the official government website of the kingdom of jordan read with me carefully then we transformed the drop of semen into a clot congealed blood what congealed blood mean dead blood dead blood that's a big mistake this is not, yeah, alaqa, but... not this is not the alaqa they told you in the in their dictionary which is a false dictionary alaqa never was this so alaqa are you an insect speak. alaqa is an insect the one you are talking about is an insect is the Quran saying that Allah transform the sperm into an insect no, but the shape of the body my friend there's no shape of the body he's talking about the transform what trans you know transform the sperm so, secondly the, sp the sperm does not look look at the mistake here he says a nutfa a nutfa is a drop of a sperm which means millions of semen yeah. okay that's a mistake because only one is semen only one not a drop will be going inside the egg secondly the semen will not be transformed into anything the semen go inside the egg and activate the egg and then the egg start to growing the semen activate and deliver dna and that's it after that there is no semen correct yeah okay but here it says that we transformed the semen which is a drop of semen not one into so what is it transforming the semen correct yeah that's stupid yeah but are you sure that Allah doesn't mean leech is it, even if it's a leech let us say it's a leech just to go with you the semen will not transform into anything and will not be a leech you can go right now check all the doctors website who they are not Christians or Muslims or Jewish just say check normal you know you will see that this is a big 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 joke right so how this can how this is can be a miracle from God but God he says stupid things in different verse on the Quran your God he says in chapter as long as we are talking about the baby in chapter 86 verse number 7 Allah he says that Allah he created a human being from gushing fluid sexual gushing fluid coming from the male and the female but the gushing fluid from the female is coming from her ribs how God makes such a stupid mistake this is tafsir al-jalalain this is a chapter 86 verse number seven read with me issuing from between the lions by the way it doesn't say lions it says the backbone of the man a soul of the man and the breast bones of the women do you see it yeah 
so now we have a sperm where the sperm is coming from we have a sperm of a man and sperm of a woman and that is stupid because women don't have a sperm but where does it say that it is his sperm of here we go chapter verse number six it says that a human being is created from gushing fluid and then the verse number after it it says the gushing fluid coming from where it says read with me uh the response is he was created from a gushing fluid gushing forth from the man and the women into the womb so what is the gushing fluid it's a fluid and there's nowhere in any scientific study anybody came to us and says that there's a gushing fluid will go to the womb this is again a mistake and then the your quran continues saying explain what he's saying in verse number seven where is this gushing fluid coming from he says from from the man and the women from the man from the backbone and from the women from the ribs and specifically the location of the necklace and that's again is a stupid mistake so the muslims are trying to find the miracle in the quran but obviously this book is a stupid book god will not say such a thing maybe Umar al khattab he made those verses <laughs> what do you think how god he say that so what do you think my friend should we leave islam this is can't be god talking and you agreed already yeah but even if it's an error but the quran also has many coincidences that it gets difficult to decide if it's if is if Islam is wrong or true okay but 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 you just agreed that this is an error right uh, from uh, the semen coming from between the yeah, okay so how Allah he is God and he, he make errors yeah but at the same time how God uh, how Allah can make errors but at the same time how Allah can make uh, miracles because he did not. Also, where is the miracle Allah. of Allah? Where, okay, show me the miracle of Allah. Go ahead. Allah also explains where milk comes from the cow. How? Oh, where? Says, where? Where? Where is uh, the? Where is the verse explain how the milk comes from the cow? Oh, I'll share it. Real hmm. quick. Right. What chapter? What verse? Um, chapter sixteen, verse uh, sixty-six. Chapter what? Sixty-six. No. Uh, chapter 16 verse 66 chapter 16 verse number 66 here we go all right let us laugh together you promise me you will laugh with me if it's funny sorry you promise me you will laugh with me if what you just said is funny where is where is the explanation how the milk is made no it uh, actually explaining how hmm. how the milk comes from the from the belly to the penis it says it comes between the the milk come from the belly to the penis no yeah yeah from that what penis so you you believe that milk come to the penis how else do they make milk penis uh, they have several penises I don't know how oh, that's penises that, that is nipples as I know <laughs> okay look look what it says with me here uh, we give you to drink of that which is in their billies now is the milk in their billies yes really how come you can, you can ask any scientist mm, okay let us see if we go right now and search okay from B Twix the refuse and the blood we extract pure milk. This is the interpretation. Do you agree with that? I. Okay. Okay. Let us go and see what is that is about. If we change, by the way, the inter I will show you the other interpretation so we can see all the Muslims' explanation. Uh, okay. Cattle, listen. We give you the drink. Introduce an example of listen that which is in the belly of the cattle. Bidis from mine indicate a new subject and similarity connection uh, okay we give you a drink from between the refuse of essential waste and the blood the pure milk okay i'm going to go, to go right now and i will okay, search go. hold on let me search in google i will search in google and we will see how milk is generated how milk in goat or cow you can oh. even go on the uh, youtube and see just type in youtube how cows uh, how cows make milk and they'll show you there's a video about it okay we will see we cannot okay. play videos of somebody else yeah okay let us see i'm, I'm looking i'm trying to find a website but uh, 
here I don't see okay mm, here it doesn't show us really too much details I'll see the from website education university let us see okay <clears throat> advertising with each card uh, squash to remove water then move to the fourth stomach in the fourth stomach the abosmum the food is digested and and it then move into small in, intestine the yeah. instant take okay no trend yeah. from the food and send it to the bloodstream okay some of this blood full of natural uh, nutrients move to under etc okay change natural milk store and they'll the chew milk all right most dairy cow produce 25 liter okay yeah anyway if we go back to the verse my friend the verse in the front of me ولكم يا الانعام لابره نسقيكم مما في بطونها من بين فرث ودم ولبن خالصا سائغا. You see, when the Muslims they translate, they try to to, uh, to, uh, to make things fit with their own idea. If you read in the verse in Arabic, it says نسقيكم مما في بطونه من بين فرث ودم لبن خالصا سائغا. What is the firth? Do you know what firth mean? No. Okay. Let us go to firth. Let me show you. We'll go to the dictionary. Actually, you know what? Let us do this. Go to the Arabic one because always the Arabic one is different from the English. But let us go here first in the dictionary. Firth, uh, it says the balls. Do you see it? Yeah. Karimatul Quran. Okay. Balls. Is that what it says in the scientist uh, teaching? No. Okay. <clears throat> so what we will do now with the balls? Uh, where does it say balls? It's 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 in front of you. The, you see it here. Yeah. Here actually, uh, it says. Uh, if we take the same word, let me show you, my friend. You see, this is your uh, this is your Islamic dictionary, and you see here it says next to it. Farthin kalimat al Quran. This is the word as it's mentioned in the Quran. Okay, this is how it's mentioned in the Quran. And then uh, there's other meaning: the pra uh, the particles of food in a, in a stain. Uh, farthin. Let us see which one is the one is mentioned. Farth is hissul alam. Okay, farth in Arabic mean al ghait mean the piss. Let us make it simple. If we go in the Quran and we search for the same word, okay. You see, this is the word "firth," and the word "firth" yeah. is always the piss from their piss. The Muslims, in their translation, that word totally disappear. If we go to the Arabic dictionary. I will post the word first here as it is, and we go to dictionary. And this is the same chat that we are reading from. <clears throat> so it says according. Okay, read so with me. Read with me, friend. Read, no, read, read, read with me. Read with me. Uh, uh, first, this is the same verse we are reading. Arroth yeah. al mawjud fil Quran. Do you know what arroth mean? No. The shit. The shit, a roth, a roth. What is this? Is chapter? Here we go. We are even quoting for you the Quran. Ma fil kurush min a thufl. What is inside the belly? What is that? Here it says, a rothu al mawjud fil kurth fil kurush. A roth is shit. So your Quran saying, you see, in the translation when we read, it's really confusing. But your Quran saying it clearly that what is coming from the shit uh, your god claim that from the shit of the cow because this is a roth this is not even a food from the shit of the cow allah will give you the milk but read with me carefully first a nahl a sarjain a zibble 
وما دام في الكرش يسمى الفرثة. This is your Islamic dictionary, not mine. I'm not saying anything. So how? So according to the dictionary, it says we give you drink. Let me, from let me give you a link, my friend. So you will not say I'm making things up. Here we go. This is your Islamic dictionary. I will send it to you. You can check it out in your time. All right, and you can check the words. Here we go. You can open it in your site. I can take right now. I can go to Google Translation, copy this, and go to Google Translation. Doesn't it mean bowels or something like that? Well, it's, uh, this is what the ref mean. It's uh, it's the it's the shit. No. Now you see, we are just going even in, in dictionary is showing you that this is the verse where the word is mentioned. Okay, we go to Google Translation. I'm going to paste the word in Arabic as it is, and I'm going to switch to English. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. So what what the Muslims they try to say in their interpretation uh, as English is totally different from what it says really in the Quran because the Quran is saying and, and you know we watched the video together where it says how the food goes but nowhere it says that this has became shit right yeah okay but the Quran is saying it's coming from the shit and again I give you the link here we go all right read with me carefully yeah and Nahl this is a chapter and Nahl verse number 66 do you see it yeah so there's no mistake that he is trying to explain something else and this is our oath al mawjud fil karsh the shit which is in the karsh we took it to google translation it coming as the dunk which is in the belly yeah so what the verse is saying that we extract from the uh, uh, from the belly uh, from the shit which is in the belly and from the blood a milk for you but this is really absolutely false let us go to Arabic. Oh. Let us see some Arabic interpretation. Maybe doesn't, it say, uh, doesn't it say that it comes between the, like between the dung and the blood? Yeah, yeah, like, but you know, but uh, but it says shit. I mean, how the roth, how how yeah. the, how the how how that will be? Uh, let us yeah. read together here. This is the uh, Al Qurtubi in Arabic. Let us see if Al Qurtubi can give us something. You know what? Let us go and see uh, Ibn Kathir in English. Even though I, I, uh, an Ibn Kathir in English always they lie in their in their interpretation, but let us see. Let us so people they can read with me. This is uh, an Nahl sixteen verse sixty six. Okay, let us see what it says. And this is in English, so people they can read with me. <coughs> All right. Uh, okay, provide a drink from their belly. Okay, let us see. Meaning it's free of a blood and pure. You see, it's free of blood, it's not even saying extract from blood. Yeah, it says it's free it... from blood. Okay, hold on, let us see. And it's pure in witnesses, taste, and sweetness have nothing to do how it's really. And then it says, you see, in the in the in the uh, uh, in that Muslim translation, they say we extract, correct? Yeah. Okay. What is the word extract? Do you see the so, word extract? It says ma bayna farthin wa damin Lebanon khalisan. Nowhere, so no, nowhere it says extract. And let us continue. And this is a Nikah so, as you see. Okay. So it's not uh, describing the progress of the milk. Read with me carefully, my friend. But each of them goes its own way after the food has been fully digested in the stomach. The blood goes to the vein. This is Ibn Kathir, who has came long after Muhammad, trying to explain with, you know, this is when science became so advanced. The milk goes to the end of the urine, uh, 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 goes to the bladder, and uh, uh, feces goes to the anus. None of them get mixed together. This is have nothing to do with extracting from shit or etc. What, what the God of Islam is saying to you, here we go, the, 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 the cow eat, 
and you get milk and the milk is not mixed with their blood either with their sh shit that's all read it in front of you right yeah okay same by the way as long as we are talking about here in the same verse in the Quran the same chapter we are reading from it says if you go if you go uh, you will find the following and I will go to Ibn Kathir in the same time uh, the Quran says the same thing about the honey the honey in chapter 66 it's chapter 16 sorry verse number 69 the same chapter if we go a few verses after you will see that the God of Islam says that there is the the, the honey of the bees is shit is literally the shit let me, let me show you uh, let us go to Ibn Kathir 16 we go up but the honey spilk there uh, the uh, the nectar that they, that they suck is they're gonna uh, they are they are going to puke that out right no my friend you see the the Quran says let me show you the verse in the Quran it says that the the uh, the bees they eat from the fruit and they shit milk they shit the honey read with me carefully this is chapter 16 verse number 69 yeah okay we go down Maybe. Let us, let us show the other website because that will be more clear. Okay, let us see. Maybe Allah meant that uh, they eat from the fruits means that... Yeah, but the, no, that. no, no. It says, no, it says that they eat from the fruit and honey come from their belly. They eat from the fruit and honey come from their belly. And this is stupid the because you are saying to me they eat already, they eat. But they don't eat the fruits. The honey is their food. So the God of Islam, he think, that that uh, the the what what the what the bees do they go and eat from the fruit so when we see them going around in the flowers and the roses what they are doing exactly they are eating the flowers and then their shit is honey that's wonderful i wish my shit is the same excuse my language you know <laughs> i wish that will can happen to me so i can say it out so here if we go okay uh Chapter Maybe. 16, verse number 69. Read with me carefully, my friend. Which translation is your favorite? Uh, you can just speak. All right. Then they eat of all pro pro produce of the earth. In Arabic, it says uh, uh, fruit, not produce. But anyway. And find with the skills of speech, spe uh, species, baths of the Lord. They are issued from within their body a drink, a very, uh, a very color, wherein is healing for man so what they eat they eat from the the, the fruits and they do dump the honey and this is absolutely false the honey is their food it's not something else yeah but uh can it mean that allah is trying to explain here that the honey the bees sees the uh, the flowers as fruits no my friend the the you see the Quran even says fruits, not only flowers, because bees, they go to anything is sweet, even if it's fruit, not necessarily really, uh, uh, not, not necessarily uh, uh, roses or flowers. Bees, if they see something sweet, they suck it too. They suck the, what it's called, the juice of it, and they take it to the hive, and it's not even the one who go and collect is the one who make it honey. What the Quran saying, <clears throat> do you see the word eat, my friend? I'm not making things up. Do you see it says eat? Of all yeah. fruits okay but they don't eat from the fruit and then a drink will come from her belly so what the Quran is teaching that those bees they make honey not not really for their food it's their shit they eat the eat fruit and they shit honey if we go right now to any interpretation which one you like you want me to go to a the same the same in Mikathir or different one we can go here we go choose one uh, it's up to you uh, you know it doesn't matter really Ch uh, chapter 16 verse number 69 let us see chapter 16 we go to english <clears throat> verse number 69 we go to ibn abbas first the cousin of your prophet okay read with me carefully then eat of all the fruits explanation from all type of fruits and follow ways the Lord made smooth for thee, made a truck table for you, 
there comes from their belly from their belly of the bees a drink various of uh, uh, hues uh, red yellow white this is the color of the honey healing for mankind and illness okay um, it's very simple eat from the fruit and the honey is a miracle from Allah for us so Allah he made the e bees eat fruit and shit honey that's not right that's absolutely okay. false right? doesn't the honey emerge in the stomach of the bee my friend yes. first of all for uh, you see the this is not a the, the the bee is the one who make the the honey uh, they have they call them they call them stomach but they are not stomach because they don't eat the honey there you see like the the bee who go and collect the nectar bring it back in her tongue is not even in her belly then she give it to other bees and then they vibrate over it and they they have their own method to to make that nectar into honey and they don't they don't eat it right away they spit it out from their mouth and then that is the honey which is collected we collect from them they save it for later to eat it this is their food what the Quran is saying that the honey is eaten from the fruit and it's coming from their belly which means they shit it The same as what he said about the bakhara, the cow or the cattle, that you know the, the milk is not mixing, like it's a miracle how the how they eat grass and the grass became shit and they have a blood in their body, but the milk is not mixing with them. So the Quran is not explaining how the milk became milk. The Quran is saying is not mixed, it's a miracle. The same as the Quran says, you remember the Muslim they say to us that the two uh, uh uh, the two uh, uh, the two seas they don't mix the fresh and the salty do you remember that one yeah that's okay uh, that okay. is correct right yeah but this is false no why, why? okay let us see why because okay. simply what the Quran is saying and this is in chapter 25 verse number 53 and chapter 5 uh, uh, verse number 19 that uh, Allah he made a barrier between the fresh water and the salty <laughs> water so they will never ever mix they, they, he's, yeah. he forbid them from meeting together do you see it? it says forbid them forbidden ban between them do you see it yeah so the Muslims in order to make a miracle they fabricate the story and they, they forget it says here forbidden they say this is about the fresh water and salty water in the sea because why it says that there is Two seas, but all of us we know that fresh water is not a sea. That is a mistake. The reason for that mistake, Muhammad he is saying here that there is two seas. One sea is the fresh water, and one sea is the salty water. Do you agree with that term? That there is two seas. Um, yeah. There is. Where? Where is the sea of the fresh water? Uh, he's just saying that there is a salty uh, sea and a fresh sea. Okay. Where is the fresh sea? No, you see, when we say sea, we have to have a huge amount of water equal to a sea. That we call it a sea, yeah. correct? Okay, but we didn't have such a thing. But what Muhammad he is teaching here, that because the Arab, whatever they dig, like I say, you can dig in the ground and you find the water, right? Like not everywhere, but mostly you can find, right? Uh, so Muhammad he believe that it's a miracle that Allah he forbid the salty water from. The fresh uh, fresh water from mixing together so we have two seas we have two containers and they are yeah. forbidden totally from meeting how he forbid them if we go to the interpretation let me show you my friend again this is a chapter 25 verse number 53 we go to Ibn Kathir as long as it's open all right well, this website is not working okay 25 and then verse number 53 we'll read it from 51 and after all right let us see what it says here and this is by the way ibn kathir is a big fat liar trying to defend the quran but still i use him to get things busted uh, because ibn kathir came long long after muhammad because now he became more people became more educated and they notice how stupid the quran is so he tried to explain so here we go and he is has he has let free the two seas this is platable and sweet and 
that is salty and bitter means he created two kind of water sweet and salty the suit is sweet uh, uh, water is like in the river spring and wells which is a fresh sweet platable water this is was the view of Ibn Juraj etc etc okay and we continue uh, and that is salty water meaning that salty water is not easy to swallow blah 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 okay now he says here and that can be found in the Red Sea, in the Arabian Sea, in the Persian Gulf, in China Sea, blah, blah, blah. All right. And then he says, and he made between them a barrier. Do you see the, the, the screen, my friend? Yeah. Okay. Yes, a barrier and complete partition. Complete. Complete. That's it. They don't mix. Never. Between them. Meaning between the sweet water and the salt water. Barrier mean a partition which is a dry land. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. In the Muslim videos and uh, the claim, what they say, they say this is about the two meat, two 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 water. They meet together, but they don't mix. Correct? Uh, isn't uh, uh, this barzakh mean land? Barzakh mean land. Yes. But the Muslim they lie. Why, why they lie? I, I want to ask you, my friend. Why they lie and they say this is a miracle? The Quran is speaking about salty water and and they, and they show you a video of a river in the ocean and see a, 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 a Masha Allah. The Quran miracle speak about the same thing. I mean, this is have nothing to do with this. All what the Quran is saying, stupid thing, that the salty water and the fresh water they never mix because Allah He put a barrier between them. But but this is a mistake because you know and I know. That the, the the fresh water we have is coming from the ocean. The ocean water, the ocean water vibrate because of the heat, became a cloud. The cloud moved to the top of the land. We have rain, and then we have a fresh water. Correct? Yeah. But the Quran saying the opposite. The Quran says those two water never mix. There's partition between them, and what is the partition? A land. Yeah, but doesn't uh, this barzakh also mean something else? Barzakh is a piece of land, my friend, which is separating between two two places, two things. This is what so Barzakh. Mean, so not only that, my friend. Not, not only that. It says, you see, it says, وحجر, وحجر Do you know what hajar mean? Hajar mean a rock. Okay, hajar is a rock. Hajaran is is a rocky, uh, uh, you know, pr uh, a preventer barrier. So this is why it says, and complete partition, complete partition. Which means they will never ever mix. They are forbidden from mixing. So in chapter twenty-three, verse hundred, it's talking about a piece of land. Yes, and not only that. Look what he continues saying. He is even <laughs> quoting for you. <laughs> he's quoting for you from different verses in the Quran. He says, "He has let loose the two seas meeting to um, meeting together between them as a barrier which none can transgress." Do you see yeah, it? But, yeah, yeah, but. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, Surah 23 verse 100 is actually it still mentions uh, but it's actually not mentioning uh, mentioning the land. What, what, uh, what, what the chapter? Uh, 23 verse 100. The verse 100? Maybe, verse 100. Yeah. Okay, let's go to yeah. verse 100. Hold on. Maybe <coughs> doesn't always have what, I don't know what verse land. 100 is. Let me see. Are you sure the verse 100? Verse 100? Verse 100. There's no hundred. I'm talking about twenty-three, not twenty-five. Oh, okay, twenty-three. All right. Yeah. Right. Okay. This is. We go here. We read from verse number ninety-nine and two hundred. All right. Maybe this shows. Uh, yeah, but this is uh, okay. Yeah, we see uh, uh, behind him. You see. Here we go. Is a barrier between the world and hereafter. Barrier between the world and hereafter. And Barzakh simply yeah. is uh, a piece of land. This is the, here we go. It's in front of you. It's a barrier. Still, so, it's the same. So it says that the, uh, there is a piece of land between them until they are resurrected. Yeah. But no, it's, it says here that he did not give more details because already he explained it, what what barzakh is. You know, but we can go to the dictionary. But he is saying still there's a barrier. And this is different. This is a different chapter. You know, the Muslim scholar who said that the word barzakh mean a piece of land about the verse we are debating about, uh, for sure he knew what he's talking about, right? He will not say it's a piece of land if it's not, right? Yeah. We can go right now to the dictionary and we can type the word barzakh. Let us do it right now. You know, here we go. 
the word Barzakh, let us go English and uh, Arabic. Barzakh. Right. Look what it says. I don't know if you can see with me what I see. Yeah, I okay. uh, I think as well. Let us see Barzakh. Oh, it, it does not actually did not type the whole word. Let me do it again. Barzakh. It says uh, no, it's not. It's not yet. It's not. It's not there. It's not there yet. Okay. All right. Barzakh. Here they will show you the one is appear in the Quran. Let us see where it says the one in the Quran. Here we go. Here it says Barzakh barrier. All right, barrier. But it doesn't yeah. show. Let us go to the Arabic one. Arabic, 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 Arabic will be better. Let us do that. Where is where, where is the search engine? There is no search engine here. Let us do that. Uh, Barzakh. Barzakh, it is dictionary. Uh, let us type the word man. All right. Let us switch here. Look like we are having difficulty. Let us switch to Arabic, Arabic, Arabic. Arabic, here we go. That's better. Barzakh. All right. Here they are saying to you, Barzakh, it can be a barrier between two things, and it is a barrier between the here today and the hereafter, which is yeah. uh, from the time of death. And then he's continuing to say, Barzakh or Barazakh. Is it's a, it's a, it's a partition of land between two seas, which is connection between the two land. All right, this is what Barzakh. And then Hajj is and he say he quote here for us. Quote exactly the verse for us from Quran, and he says, a piece of land which is between two seas. And connect the two seas together, or sorry, connect between two two lands. And the the last meaning that barzakh is between the the hereafter, the 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 the, the 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 land of the life of today and the hereafter. That's it. This is the Arabic translation, as you see. I can send you a link. You want a link? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me send you a link. Here we go. You can check it out by yourself later. So you see, we're not making things up. So as you see, Ibn yeah. Kathir, we can go to, uh, forget about Ibn Kathir, let's go to a different one if you want. You know, we yeah, can yeah. go, we can go, uh, uh, we can go instead of uh, going to one interpretation. Maybe this guy is wrong and you never know, right? Okay, let's go yeah, and see. Chapter, chapter hold on, chapter 25, verse number 53. Let's give it all the options, all right? Let us, uh, let us see. Chapter 25, verse number 53, interpretation. My question is this does the word barzakh only mean land or can it yes, also land, mean yeah barzakh, yeah. barzakh mean land barzakh mean land yeah. only that yes absolutely I showed you the dictionary I'm not making things up my friend all right it's a it's a land who connected between two let us say usually usually it's like uh, if you have let me draw for you something in front of you if we have here I'm not good in drawing but just to show you let us say from this side, let me change the color. I will make it a blue. So we have here a sea, and here we have a sea, but between them we have a land, and I will make the land in brown. This place here we call it Barzakh. So there is two lands here, big lands. All right. Yeah. And there is a land from this direction. This area here we call it Barzakh. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. And obviously, this is a this is a false explanation from the Quran. So the Quran trying to, uh, to uh, tell, tell us how Allah He preserved between the fresh water and the salty water. How He made a barrier between them. But this is absolutely false. The fresh water itself is the same as the salty water, and the salty water itself is the same as the fresh water. The only difference is that the salty water, by the heat of the sun, vibrate, became a steam, then became a cloud, and then the cloud moved. And then the cloud drop water. Let me show you another mistake in the Quran. As long as we are talking about 
cloud and rain etc where Allah he got his hail from do you know my friend you know what hail right yeah okay what is hail what is hail according to your understanding yes rain uh, is it a frozen it's a frozen water right it's an ice yeah. we call it hail yeah. all right uh how Allah he how Allah he sent hail do you know um I read a verse in the Quran uh, Muslim says this is about the uh, water cycle mm -hmm. but look look what the Quran saying the Quran saying the opposite they lie to you my friend they, they are professional liars it says here that Allah he sent hail from mountains which is in heaven so what the what yeah. the Quran saying that Allah he break pieces of hail from an ice or mountain of ice and he submitted on us the verse in the front of you we can go to any interpretation you want which one you like um yeah you can uh, just pick. how in the world god he will say such a thing that in the in the heaven yeah. there's mountain of hail and this is where allah he got the hail from is that scientifically true um is it uh that allah calls the mountains uh in the heaven just a metaphor no, no, he's here. He's not. That's not metaphor. This is speaking about, and you, know, you see, the funny is that the Muslims, uh, uh, they, they, when we quote for them, there's something they say that this, that, you know, maybe metaphorical. But if you read the verse with me, it's speaking about things that are not metaphorical. That how Allah He switched the day and the night, and then He created for you from every creature, from from water. Some of them they walk uh, in their belly. And some of them they walk in two legs and some of them they walk in four which is absolutely false because there is many creatures who have many legs correct so based on this verse you see this is cannot be metaphorical right we describe even how many legs so yeah uh, uh, and, and and even the Muslim scholars they never understood it as a metaphorical and even the Muslims today they try to make this as a miracle they, they try, here they come they say Look, Allah, He speak how the cloud gathered together and how they became liars and how they send rain. But a, a verse before we just showed that the, the Quran think that Allah He separate between the salty water and the fresh water. And here He's saying that Allah He sent down from mountains in heaven a, a, a hail, you know. And this is absolutely false. If we go right now and we check the interpretation, chapter 24, verse number 43, 43, 24. Here we go. Read with me carefully, my friend. Hmm. And by the way, uh, uh, is a new scholar. <laughs> this is this is a guy who learns science now and etc. So you see, uh, they try to cover up the the the, the, the madness of the Quran. Uh, uh, do you see how the rain is issuing from the midst of of uh, specific outlets in them? And then he sent down from the heaven out of mountains. Do you see it? Yeah, but men jibal in fiha extract their end from heaven. So there's mountains of hail in the heaven, and Allah He extract the hail from it. So the mountains of hell is a literal thing. It is, as you see, speaking about rain. Is rain is literal? Yes. Is hail is literal? Yes. Did he submitted yeah, did he submitted to us us yes you know and not only that he hit with it whoever he wish he hit with it he hit with it so the Quran saying that Allah he punished us by hail let us go to uh, tafsir ibn Abbas you're, you're a prophet cousin okay have you not seen the uh, uh, been informed on Muhammad the Quran about how Allah uh, uh, drive about the cloud and being uh, bring the cloud together and make them liar liars and those set rain come forth from between them and from between the cloud he sent down from heaven uh, uh, from the heaven mountains where is hail he said send down hail from mountains in heaven yeah. and submit them with hail or a heap to who he want to punish you see it yeah okay not only that if we go to the Quran chapter 13 verse number 13 do you know that the Quran claimed that the thunder is an angel yeah but you know when Allah says these things I just 
think by myself that only Allah has the ability to understand that because my friend my Allah friend so, let, let me tell you how funny what you just said suddenly only Allah can understand but the Muslims they are explaining the Quran for the last 14 centuries for what then if Allah only can understand and yeah. it's I mean it's so clear what the point of sending me a book nobody understand except him there's no point this is with my respect to you this will be stupid because if you yeah. send me a book I will not understand anyway so why you are telling me those things yeah I agree but in the Quran it also says that Allah that the Sun sets in a muddy spring but in the other verse it said that the Sun is in orbit night and day long no my but, friend no no my friend let me show you we will go there after we finish this one do you see here that the thunder is an angel yeah the thunder the thunder in Islam is an angel who prays Allah and also the angels you see uh, the thunder uh, he prays uh, I can take this as a metaphorical but the Muslims they don't as you see because the verse it says it says that a radu you uh, you uh, uh, you said by his command it is an angel so what is the thunder it's an angel right yeah. now if we go you, you mentioned to me what about what about uh, remind me just a second ago about yeah, about the sun setting and everybody's spring. But okay, it, I, let, let me show you. Yeah, let, let me ask you who can understand the Quran better than your prophet? Nobody, right? Yeah, okay. If you're a prophet, he explained it to us, then we cannot say he he's wrong. Yeah, I think you agree it, with me. Okay, and that, read with and me. Also says that, my friend, read with me. Here we go. This is Sahih chain hadith. Yeah. This is your prophet. This is Sahih. This is Sahih chain. Do you see it? Al Alabani. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we can say it's weak, daif, and those crazy stuff. I was sitting behind Allah Messenger who was riding a donkey while the sun was sitting. He asked about, uh, uh, do you know where this set, which means the sun? I replied, Allah and his, uh, his apostle, they know best. He said it's set in a spring of warm water, Hamia. Do you see it? Okay, so the Quran said that Muhammad explained that. So what we will we'll do now is that metaphorical? No. Uh, Muhammad also said that it sets under underneath Allah's throne. Yeah. But uh, really, uh, okay. Hold on. This is another. Uh, this is another stupid thing because look what he said. Because Muhammad he claimed that the sun every day and he explained that this is not metaphorical. He asked the same guy the same story. He said to him, "Do you know where the sun goes? Do you know where the sun goes?" Hmm? Let us see the hadith. And even he quoted the verse for him from the Quran, so we cannot say he was not quoting the verse. So here we go. This is Sahih Bukhari, which is very accurate hadith. It says, Once I was with the Prophet of Allah. Do you see the screen, my friend? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Once I was with the Prophet of Allah and uh, in the mosque at the time of the sunset. And I, uh, he said to me, uh, Oh, Abu Dar, which means your Prophet saying to this guy, do you know where the sun where do you know where the sun set where the sun set do you say it says where yeah okay when i say where it's mean a location correct yeah okay now where the sun set so he is talking about the sunset a physical thing not metaphorical i replied allah and his apostle knows best he said it goes who is the one is going allah uh, uh, the sun sorry and prostrate underneath Allah throne so Muhammad explaining at the time of the sunset where the Sun is going correct yeah so this is physically explanation for a physical movement he's trying to explain to us where the Sun is going why the Sun is going the Sun it goes every day to prostrate under the throne of Allah and then he says and that is Allah's statement he's explaining now to Quran for us so no no way a Muslim he can say Muhammad was not right he quote for us from the Quran chapter 36 verse number 38 says and the Sun runs on its fixed course for a term and a degree so Muhammad is saying the Quran when he speak about this verse explaining to us how the Sun run in the orbit you mentioned to me this is the orbit every day the Sun goes from the east and go all the way at the end of the day under the throne of Allah sleep under the throne of Allah in the murky water isn't it the Quran says is not it the hadith says that uh, uh, the throne of Allah is above the water um, yes let us let us find the hadith here we go Allah throne is above the water 
You see it? Yeah. And that explain what Muhammad is talking about. So Allah throne is above the water. The sun goes all the way, prostrate itself, and the throne of Allah, which where above the water. And what is that water? Is Ainun Hamia. Did we make it clear for you, my friend? Yeah. How this can be Quran? How this can be from God? Oh, so in the Quran it says that it stays in the orbit night and day long. Sorry. In the uh, in the Quran it says that it stays in an orbit night and day long. What night day long? And and it, but the sun is in its orbit every My friend, isn't it, isn't it here you go? Your prophet, he just explained where the sun goes. Come on. You know, we don't want to play games. I'm saying there, it says there, there, it says there. It says clearly. And Muhammad, he is the one who quote the verse for you. Muhammad, he quote for you what it's mean that the sun run in its course. So I cannot explain it better than your prophet. And you cannot explain it more than your prophet. So when he say the sun set in the murky water, that's mean it's a murky water. He explained and he quote for us chapter 36. It says, and this is what it's meant that the sun run in its own course. So the sun every day move from point A to point B. We have to be honest. Yeah, in the Quran it also says that the uh, that the moon follows the sun. Where where in the Quran it says the moon follows the sun? Uh, let me let me show you let me show you what the Quran is saying. I know what you are talking about. This is this is a mistake. You are you, you are forcing me to bring all the mistakes of the Quran. I mean you are helping me big deal. Okay. Yeah, but how isn't it really a mistake because like the moon doesn't follow the sun in its orbit, but it follows the sun in its uh, No my, my friend my friend doesn't say that. Let me show you what the Quran but is saying. If the Quran if the Quran says that the uh, my, sun follows the moon, then it would have been a mistake. Well, I don't know what you mean. Uh, the Quran says that the uh, moon follows the sun, right? The moon follows the sun. Yeah. Okay. Where it says the moon and follow the sun. Chapter. Thirty-one. Uh, uh, no. Okay. Uh, Ninety-one. Ninety-one. Okay. Chapter ninety-one. What verse? Uh, verse 2 verse 1 to verse 2 okay verse number 2 okay well Qamar is at Allah is not following it's the, the, when the moon came after it's not follow really it's coming well Qamar is at Allah follow here is about following by time not about uh, 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 you know following the Sun uh, let me let me you see it says one first the night then new moon to be seen now let me show you that this is what it's meant because if you go in the Quran my friend okay let us close some pages too many pages open that will slow our internet okay uh, Chapter 31, verse number 29. Chapter 35, verse number 13. Uh, chapter 36, verse number 40. Chapter 39, verse number 5. Uh, uh, chapter 41, verse number 37. Uh, the chapter I mean all those chapters are a pure mistake and let us start one by one let us see let us go from the one speaking about the movement okay Where we are, where it's okay. Well, okay, here we go. Chapter 21, verse number 33. Read with me carefully, my friend. It is He who created the night and the day, and the sun and the moon. They float each in an orbit. Do you know what each goes for when He say each? Each one. Uh, they both. Each what? Like they 
each means sun and the other one means uh, no moon. each is goes for all you see in Arabic it says Kullun fi falakin yasbahun. The, the, the old legions believe that those are uh, the stars they have uh, ship this is why you saw if you go to the zodiac you will see that uh, uh, they have a ship you know I don't know if you saw it before they believe that those stars they float in a ship so look what it says that all of them they float they swim actually yes bahoon which means they swim in uh, 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 in in a, in a, the uh, uh, falcon here is not really orbit as much as a ship, but we will go with the Muslim translation just to make you happy. So each they float, each what, each the day and the night. It is he who created what the night and the day and the sun and the moon, and then they, which means all of them float each in an orbit do you see it yeah okay so the day and the night they have an orbit is that true mm. it actually says in another version of one that Allah makes the night overwrap the day and the day overwrap the night mm. but, but this so is can... okay we will go there just one by one let us finish this one okay so Allah created the night and the day so what Allah is speaking about that the night and the day is something physically created I can accept that he created the, the night the night as a metaphorical meaning because you know the night is not really created it's just darkness but we would let it go as metaphorical but created the day are we speaking about the day as something different from From what we have, is it the same day he's talking about? Yes, he's talking about the same day, our day and our night. Okay. Yeah. So now he's saying that the night and the day and the sun and the moon, they each flow in the airport. But this is false. Don't we have something it's called the eclipse? The Quran says in different verse that the moon and the sun they never met. Um, hmm? Where does it say that? Chapter three, oh, yeah. chapter yeah, yeah. thirty-six, verse number forty. Okay, it is not for the sun to overtake the moon, nor doth the night overstrip the day. They float each in an air orbit, but this is false because simply the sun is always actually there. It is just the earth going around itself. We are not overlapping the sun, the sun is there. It's just because we are the earth is, is, uh, is facing the other direction of the sun, correct? Yeah. Same time when he say that the sun and the moon they never meet together. They will never overstrip. That is false because that's mean he don't understand the eclipse. Don't we have something? It's called the eclipse. Yeah. And then suddenly we have night overtaking the day. Yeah. So this is a mistake too. Yeah. What do you think? Um. <laughs> Yeah, I don't uh, really know what to say. Though. Everything in the Quran is a joke, my friend. There's nothing there is truthful. This is a joke. This is not going to be true. What is holding the birds from falling down? Because Allah, he holds the bird from falling down. Now that can be said. You know, uh, uh, as an example, why Allah created the sun or the stars? Do you know? Uh, no. Hmm. Chapter 67, verse number 5. According to Allah, the stars are made to shoot the devil in his ass. Read it with me. How this is can be true. The devil live in earth. There's no yeah, devil but... live in the sky. There's no devil live in space. The devil live only in the earth. And the devil will try to escape out of the earth. And Allah, he shoot him by a star. Talking about the jinns, right? Yeah, yeah. But here, here he mentioned the word shayateen, not only the jinn, because there is good genie and there's a bad genie, correct? Yeah. Okay. Here, here in the verse, he mentioned shayateen. So he shoot the shaitans. According to Muhammad, shaitan he tried to spy at Allah, correct? Yeah. 
okay yes that's what the Quran says so each time they try to steal information from Allah Allah he showed them by a star how you can shoot someone who live in earth by a star without destroying the earth how big the star is um there's not all genies live on earth no all genie live in the earth there's no genie don't live in different place my friend no can you show me the reference well isn't it the Quran says uh, uh, that Allah he sent he said there was only he created you see the Quran is a stupid book so when the Quran says or chapter 2 verse number 36 or 238 uh, it says the same okay uh, or chapter 7 verse number 13 uh, chapter 7 verse 24 um, etc but let us see this one but Satan caused them uh, to be deflect therefore he uh, and expelled them from the happy state in which they were and we said fall down or this is fast translation you know, go down go down one of you will be enemy for each other Allah he said to whom to shaitan correct yeah okay and the other verse says what shaitan correct yeah so what was sent to down down it's, it's a punishment there's no way Allah he said to shaitan get out and he's still there correct um, yeah, okay, so shaitan is an earth and he's speaking about shaitan specifically not about jinn. He said the shaitan and by the way how shaitan have children How shaitan um, became shaitan Is it the is it mentioning the actual uh, shaitans or just jinns? No, I say shaitan my friend shaitan Rejuman le shaitan Rejuman le shaitan Not a jinn. There's no jinn. Rejuman le shaitan. Let me show you. Here we go Okay, read with me carefully, please. Okay. I don't know if you speak Arabic or not, but I think you can maybe make up the letter. Do you see a shayatin? If yeah. we change the translation, let us change the translation. This is uh, who? This is who? Uh, Big Tal. Let us go to Yusuf Ali. See what Yusuf Ali will say. Okay. All right. Here, Yosef Ali translate as the evil one, but this is false. It says Shayatin. Let us go to uh, Big Tal. Let us try Big Tal. Do you see for the devils? But even the Big Tal, he did not get it right because he should say the word Shayatin. The word Shayatin is right in the front of our face. Yeah. Right? I'm sure if you don't speak Arabic still you know how the shaitan look like right as a word okay so Allah he showed the shaitan by a, by a star that's false that's impossible Muhammad is explaining simply they see they see the the meteor you know what the meteor right yeah the, the rocks which fell from the sky so Muhammad he think that those are what Allah shooting shaitan in their ass <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Can you uh, uh, repeat that again? The meteor, you know what the meteor? Um, the rocks falling from the sky, from the space. During night, we see them. They shine sometime, yeah, yeah. right? Okay. So Muhammad, yeah. he think that those are stars and Allah, he shoot the shaitan with them. But this is nothing but a legion. This is this is uh, fairy tale stories. Yeah, but um, have you ever heard of uh, Rama Ray? Uh, bursts of the stars. I heard of what? Uh, gramma, uh, gramma ray uh, bursts of the stars. I don't understand really. Um, uh, it's a uh, gramma and then uh, ray and then bursts of the stars. Wait, I'll type it in for you, Skype. Uh, no, I, I don't understand what you are saying at all. Maybe you can. Is it a verse you want me to read? I don't understand what they are saying in English. Yes, Sorry. I'll uh, send it to you instead. Yeah. Let me uh, let me get some water, please. Give me a second. All right, my friend. Now, uh, uh, you know, let, let, us, let us make it simple, me and you. How many mistakes already I showed you, my friend, today? Do you agree I showed you mistakes or no? Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so how this can be the book of God? You know, it's um, difficult for me. You know, I am. Uh, um, uh, my parents were uh, atheists, but I was. Uh, I converted to Islam, mm. but I was. Uh, uh, I was searching for the truth. Mm. But I had a uh, difficulty picking for Islam or Christianity, so I started. Uh, uh, look for miracles or science or math. So, you know. but all of this is a lie. It's just a fabrication to fool you, my friend. You are smarter than this, and we prove it. Not a single claim come to be true. They are desperate. They are trying to make uh, miracles. They try to say like, okay, here we go. The word. Uh, Earth and the word sea and the word etc. They are equal number and then we check them we find that they are false They they try to fabricate when the Quran you see and, and the funny the the Muslims they discover miracles Muhammad do not know and Allah do not know You know like as an example uh, Allah uh, uh, He created um, I mean there is obvious mistakes huge mistakes in the Quran do you think God will remember which one he created first as an example if I say to you I created the stars first and then in different verse I say to you I created the trees first isn't it this is yeah. obvious this is cannot be from God yeah well this is the Quran saying that one verse saying that he created everything in earth and then he went the sky and the sky was nothing and the other verse saying the opposite if we go yeah. here as an example in chapter 41 verse number uh, uh, 11 if you read it from verse number 9 Allah says say O Muhammad into the idolaters uh, disbelieve ye verily in him who created the earth in two days and scribe into the rivers and he uh, I mean this translation is really funny he too, put too much between bracket okay and then after he finished creating the earth in two days he placed in there in firm hills by the way it doesn't say that it's, he's speaking about the mountain above above it now is it true that based in science that uh, that uh, mountains was placed later in the top of the earth somebody place it yeah yeah i understand that but allah is actually saying here that when the earth was shaking that he already placed some mountains he, he, you could take this as my uh, friend let me tell you let me tell you information you do not know Places where we have mountains is the places where earth shake most Because simply what the mountains have what, what the reason for the mountain to exist that there is a pressure between two tectonic plate Or a volcano correct? Yeah, but what the verse saying that Allah he put the mountain in the top of the earth If we go to different verse in the Quran, we will find, find the following Muhammad he said that Allah he put the mountain as Nails or tada the way the same nails you use for uh, for the tent, right? Well, Jibalu or tada chapter 78, verse 7. Do you see it? Yeah, okay, but this is wrong because or tada is something you put from the top down, not from down up. Yeah, all right, but the mountains is the opposite, the mountains come from down to up, correct. Yeah, this is why uh, a scientist when they want to study the ground instead of digging an area just go to the mountain Because the mountain simply one day it used to be down deep down and the top of the mountain, you know is 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 is, uh, is simply the increase of the size of the mountain uh, Every every day every every uh, year maybe a few me a centimeter or millimeters, you know depend in the movement of the earth So this is not where the earth is not moving. It's where the earth is moving the mountains is and this is not because the mountains is is uh, stabilizing you know it can it can work as a stabilizer by the way but this is not what the what the what the Quran is saying the Quran is saying I put it there as 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 big as pigs because the Quran speaking about the earth as a flat if we go in the Quran I don't know did you hear about the Muslim saying that the Quran is in the shape of an egg yeah uh, okay it's actually not true this absolutely false. Ask yourself why they fabricate that. The word the haha, the word the haha, it means the opposite. It means he made the earth flat. 
so and look and here ask yourself your friend you, you are a person who accepted Islam to be your religion I ask yourself if Muslims are people who they are believing in a true religion why they lie in translation why they try they lie into interpretation why they lie in, and they make fabrication about their book why I mean, this is my book. I believe in it. This is how it is. You believe it. You don't believe it. You know what I mean? Like for me as a Christian, if you say to me, how Jesus can be born of virgin? I say, this is what I believe. Yeah. It doesn't make sense, right? Logically, in science, doesn't make sense. There's no there's no way a woman, she will give birth to a, a, a person if she don't have a man, right? Yeah. I'm not going to fabricate and make stories up and etc. to say, okay, it's against science. So the problem with, with Islam and Muslims because they are ashamed of their religion they are willing to do tons of fabrication to cover lies and they have no shame with that for me as a Christian this is what my belief this is what it says you believe it you believe it you don't believe it it's up to you yeah. <clears throat> then why here like look look at the translation here well or do bad the haha the haha mean make it make it flat yeah yeah I know that. but why why they make it egg Go and see how many videos in YouTube they say the haha mean an egg. Yeah. So here we need to ask ourselves if those people are following God, what make those who follow God lie about their God? Uh, uh, in the Quran, it says that Allah has made the earth for you like a bed spread out. Right. That is that uh, it gets Allah has spread the earth for us. It's meaning that it's. Uh, comfortable for us to walk on no my friend like... no this is can be true if it's only just something metaphorical but the fact the Quran don't uh, don't the Muslims are uh, uh, ordered to pray in the direction of the Kaaba yeah okay in order to do that you have to always like you see if Muhammad saying pray in the direction of the Kaaba if you are around the city of Mecca I will understand but but, but, but we showed you where Omar he said my Lord agree with me right and to make the direction of the prayer into the Qibla and that is the order of Muhammad for all mankind so how I can pray to the Kaaba direction unless I believe that the earth is a flat it's impossible I live in America in order to pray to the Kaaba direction I have to put my head maybe in the toilet seat and still I will not face it that is impossible same time Muhammad he explained once he said that our our Lord Allah he come every night in the third part of the night yeah how Allah will come every night in the third part of the night unless he believe that all the earth have one time have one day have one moon have one Sun um, sorry I don't understand okay if I say to you that God come every day at three o'clock in the morning yeah. that's mean there's only one three o'clock in the morning right because it's impossible how how Allah will come every three and aim in the morning he goes to, to heaven number seven heaven number one look what he says this is Sahih Muslim and this is Sahih Hadith and this is Sahih Bukhari this is a very strong Hadith they cannot say it's a lie Allah messenger said that our Lord the blessed superior comes every night down okay down where unless the earth is flat but um, it means that uh, there is seven heavens so uh, for example Allah created uh, seven multiverses uh, multi uh, universes and mm -hmm. he goes uh, down to the lowest heaven my friend no problem let, let, let me let me uh, let me explain to you Read, uh, look with me please I will make a ball for the earth a shape of a ball all right okay this is the earth so yeah. when I say Allah he come always he come down that's mean Allah always is up correct yeah okay up where if the earth is not flat that's impossible um, I don't really understand okay if I say Allah will come down down from where from this direction from this direction or from this direction or from this direction where is down you will go from the top to the low seven okay that's but that but that's mean there's only one direction there's earth and above the earth that's mean the earth is a flat because we are using the word down down from where and he mentioned the third part of the night but you know 
the earth have many third part of the night that's mean Allah will keep going up and down up and down up and down and stop 24 hours a day that will be funny same time what kind of God he need to go down every third part of the night to collect the prayer can't he collect it from his seven heaven why he don't have a good reception he's using AT&T phone you know what I mean yeah and why he why he why he why he go down to say who is praying for me who is invoking me so I forgive him this is silly yeah I thought God he hear everything now he should have to come down to the to the first heaven and the second you say first heaven, my friend, that you you, you just you just de decide as long as you are not saying this is metaphorical. And even Muhammad he described in different hadith the distance between them five hundred years. Yeah. Okay, that's it. So it's it's one direction. It can be in not cannot be in another direction, right? Because if I say to you the distance between them five hundred years, it means I have to go in one direction. How this can be a prophet of God? And why the Muslim they pray five times a day if Allah only will collect the prayer only at that time and now he is asking, who is asking me? What about the rest of the day? They were praying. Let me ask you a question, a very simple question. If a baby became a boy, let us say somebody, your wife, with my respect to her, she gave birth to a boy. What is the reason for the baby to be a boy, according to Islam? The gender. Mm, I don't know. Muhammad, he knows. Muhammad is a scientist. Look what your prophet, he said. Muhammad, he said, narrated by Anas, Anas saying, Allah Messenger said, the man water is thick and white, and the women water is thin and yellow. And whoever, whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parent. Yeah, that uh, that actually means that, if, for example, if the father uh, discharges first, yeah, and, uh, but the woman, but the baby will become a girl, then the girl will look like the father, but not the mother. No, 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 my friend, no, no. It, what it says here. That if the father he discharged first, the baby will be a boy because you cannot resemble the parent, the father, and you are a girl. This is what is meant here, and I can show a different hadith by the way to explain it. But however, right. this is stupid because it doesn't matter who comes first about the look. Scientific, this is stupid. If to I me, it actually to me it doesn't it doesn't actually say that it's it will become a boy. It just said it. It just says that it will look like the father. No, my friend. Uh, okay, no, but no problem. Let us say it looked like the father. There, is it really doesn't matter if it looked the father or the matter by who come first? Is that really what science says? Um, That's stupid. The DNA, the DNA is what will decide how you look like. Do you agree? Yeah. And the DNA will not change who come first, who come. Actually, the women, most of Muslim women, they don't even come. Because Muslim women they do circumcision for them, and if you cut the the women the clitoris, then the women she cannot have orgasm. So what does this have to do with this? And Muhammad he described for you here what make the baby look like, the father or the or the mother. He said the ma the man water is thick and white, which this is a sperm, and the ma women water is a thin and yellow, and this is what Muhammad. Think it is a sperm, but this is a, this is a lotion. The women she have in her vagina when she's having sex. Yeah, this is not an orgasm uh, of sperm. But let me show you that he meant a boy, not meant only the look, as you said, as you thought. Yeah. Let us find your hadith. Here we go. You will see here it says, this is in Arabic. What does that mean? If the man orgasm came first, the baby will be a boy. If the woman orgasm first, the baby will be a girl by the will of Allah. 
And here the Muslim they try to fabricate in the translation and look what they do. Yeah, but um in the hadith it also says that uh, Allah will decide if will become a male or female. No problem, but this is a contradiction. No problem. This is still contradiction because now he just said that it's Allah who decide one, but now he's saying the other reason that the one who come first that improve Muhammad is a liar. Read with me carefully. Does it see the word word here? The male is going to be child. Sorry. The the the, the, the child will be a male. Does it say that? And here it says yes. it's going to be a female. And look what the Muslim, in order to cover up the, the stupidity of their prophet, they add the word the chromosome. Suddenly, this is about the chromosome. The chromosome is the white sperm and the yellow water in the vagina of the women. <laughs> and whoever comes first. So look what they add. They add the chromosome and genes, prevails and chromosome and genes. Or just all just to cover the madness. Muhammad saying whoever come first we showed you the hadith right whoever come first the baby will be Resemble the parents how he explain again. He will be male or female Male or female. Yeah, it says here in front of you. It says prevent pre, uh, 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 Okay, when they have intercourse and the male sperm water substance Reveal upon the female substance which means came before it it is a male child, and that is the creator of Allah. And if the women come first, remember the hadith we showed you, whichever of them come first? Yeah. Okay, here in the translation, trying to hide it, so they are saying, uh, 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 when the substance of the female prevails. So, when the substance of the female prevails, upon the substance contributed by the male, a female child is formed. Do you see it? So, this is absolutely about male and female. There's no doubt. So when Muhammad said in the other hadith that whoever come first, the baby will resemble the parents. Now there is no way to say to me, as you said to me five minutes ago, here he's speaking about that a child baby girl, she might look like her father, correct? Because he obviously explained it. He meant he meant you look like father, which means you are a boy. Yeah. How this can be a prophet of God? <sighs> My friend, you are smarter than this. Yeah, I I myself don't really see as a true Muslim, but I I am confused in religion. I don't know what my friend. Let us let us make it step by step. As long you are confessed, uh, convinced convinced that Islam is a false religion. What about you say I am out of this cup, and then you can start searching for something better. Right? This this cannot be from God. This is stupid, and you are smarter yeah. than this. So say it. Say I'm leaving Islam. I'm out. Uh, can you show me the uh, the last topic I want to talk about? It's last about topic. Surah twenty one verse thirty two, where it says Allah has made a ceiling for us. Yeah, uh, that that's is even more funny. Chapter yeah. twenty one verse uh, thirty two. Okay. Actually, this is a comedy. Because here you just give me another proof. This is the nail we will be good put it in the coffin of Allah. Because simply the Muslim they say to you this is about the atmosphere, correct? Yeah. Okay, but do you remember the verse I gave you where the verse says that Allah he shoot the shaitan when they try to escape by the stars? Yeah, yeah. Okay, read with me carefully. Okay, hold on, my friend. Read with me. Does it say that? Read with me. It's the same verse you chose for me. And we have made the sky a roof for the earth, with healed from them, such as, such as, such, such that it does not fall. And also say that this is mean it's protected from shaitan by the stars. You remember? Okay. Yeah. Now, if. We forgot what I said to you before about Allah. He shoot the shaitan by stars. No, no, I didn't forget. Okay, so uh, here Allah is saying we made the sky protected roof. It is the sky protected. Why? Because Allah, uh, he 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 challenged the human being, the man and the genie, to leave the zone of the earth. Let's see the verses. Uh, 
All right. <clears throat> um, here we go. Chapter 55, verse number 33. O assembly of jinn and men, it it ye uh, can be uh, 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 if it be ye can pass beyond the zone of the heaven and the earth pass ye not without authority shall you be able to pass so the quran challenging the human being and the genie to go out of the zone of the earth why because in verse number 35 saying if you try to do so what allah will do read with me carefully do you see it my friend yeah yeah if you try to do so on you we will send O oh, evil ones flame fire that is the stars you remember so mm -hmm. the sky is a protected roof not protecting the earth is protecting the sky because you cannot get out you know what i mean yeah, that the atmosphere no. is the opposite if a rock go in the, the rock will be burned correct yeah. Here is the opposite. If you try to get out, Allah will burn you. And which verse? We are reading verse chapter right? chapter fifty-five, verse number thirty-four and thirty-five, and 30, 30, uh, 33. You see it? Yeah. And that's actually, actually a clear, a clear, stupid thing because a human being already they went to the to the moon, correct? Yeah. And they went to the space and now we have many satellite flying over the space the satellite internet you name it so this is a claim muhammad he made and he, he never thought that one day time will come and people will go out of the space and allah here is making a challenge for genie and mankind go out if you can if you go i will shoot you yeah but in another uh, surah it's saying that allah is in surah 2 verse 22 it says that Allah has uh, placed uh, mountains for us hmm. to so to protect us from uh, that, uh, that it uh, wouldn't shake with us, hmm. and He says that the uh, heaven is a ceiling for us. Hmm. Well, this is a ceiling. You, know, you see, the the yeah, Quran. Let, let me show you, my friend. The Quran says "saqfan marfu'a," "saqman marfu'a," which means the Quran claim that the sky and the earth they used to be one piece, and Allah He lift up the sky. Is that a true? Do you agree with that, right. or this is something stupid? The Quran teach that the sky and the earth they used to be together, and Allah He split them out. He lift up the sky. Saqfan marfu'a. The word saqf you are talking about. He made it a roof, but he put it up. The roof is not. You know, it was down. Saqfan marfu'a. He he lift it up. Is that correct? In the, uh, which verse is it saying? Okay, chapter 52, verse number five. So Allah here is it up. How he raised it up? Do you know the chapter of Qaf? Yeah, what is it? Chapter of Qaf, verse number one. Do you know what chapter of Qaf saying? Verse number one there's a mountain, it's called Qaf. I want you to read with me carefully, my friend. I'm here trying to help you, I'm not here trying to make fun of you. And as you see, everything I say is coming with proofs. And from his narration, Qaf, Qaf, in the narration of Ibn Abbas, he said, Qaf, he said, it is an azure mountain overlooking this world, and the color of the sky takes from it. So the Saqf al Marfu'a, the lift up sky, is a roof, and there's a wall. And that wall is Qaf. It's a mountain called Qaf. Do you see it? Yeah. So how that can be? This is crazy. This is stupid. So what the Quran teaches us that you cannot get out of the zone of Earth. We get out of the zone of Earth. If you try to get out, we will shoot you with the stars. And this is not true. And it's a challenge to mankind and human being and genie. And that is stupid too. And in the top of that, Allah, he left up the sky. And... He hold it from falling down on us by a mountain is called Qaf, and the sky is taking the color, its color from it. The Quran says too <clears throat> that Allah is holding the sky from filling us. Yeah. Okay, but this is not true. 
because we are inside the sky the earth is little tiny dust inside the sky don't you agree yeah okay how oh, this can be <laughs> we are not separated from the space we are just inside this we are nothing inside the space how we can be separated we are not we are just a little tiny dust in that space in chapter 22 verse number 65 the same chapter you chose for me it says it is he who said uh, said uh, is it he that Allah who made for you the the uh, the earth and 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 the uh, and the ships and this you sail with it in the sea by his command is it yeah. he who hold the sky from failing on you and look here they they, they put the word rain it says false doesn't say rain is Allah is holding the rain from falling down? It's stupid. This doesn't say that. It says the sky. Allah is holding the sky from falling in the earth because the rain come down. They lie in the translation. Mm. So, my friend, I will leave the choice for you. But if I am you, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you respect yourself and you are smarter than this. You will not accept to be part of such a garbage. Yeah, I um, I only converted to Islam because uh, I just picked a religion for some reason. But all I'm trying to do right now is I'm searching for the truth on which religion is right. No problem, but uh, aren't you, you convinced can... already that Islam it cannot be from God? Aren't you convinced after all of what he said? Yeah. Okay, so say I'm out of Islam and search. Keep searching, no problem. I'm not saying to you don't search. But you know, I'm just saying, uh, denounce this cult. Say, I am not of this. Yeah. Can I just show you an example? No problem. But so, what about you denounce first, my friend? Let me hear it from you. I want to be sure that I did not waste my time with you. Yeah, yeah. So you are, you are out of Islam, my friend, right? Yes, I'm out. That's good. That's, I'm happy for you that you decide to get out. And now we can search for something better. What What do you want to say to me? Um, I just wanted to show you this last picture. Okay, what is that? It's uh, collected from a Muslim guy who discovered this. Tell me what is the topic so we can get it busted without showing the pictures. No problem. What is the topic? Yeah, I'll show it to you. Uh, you know, for me, it doesn't even open. It's open so small, I can't even see it. What is that, my friend? What is this? Um, it basically shows you uh, the, if you count, for example, uh, through a run has seven verses when you count one to seven it's eight that's in my friend the uh, one who come with this madness his uh, 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 the muslim themselves they get him killed because he have to delete some verses in the quran same time all the count is false as an example chapter 19 uh, miracle of number 19 this is where it's coming from correct uh, no no yeah it's the same they are coming from the same study of this guy he have to delete some verses same time all the numbers are wrong let me show you how the muslim they lie in their calculation no, but this isn't a uh, this visit. This is not connected to the number nineteen. Uh, the uh, all of the them, surah. all of them, my friend. Trust me, all of them. They are based on number nineteen. All of them. All what they coming for is coming from what this guy, the one, the Muslims, they killed him. No, but this is not about the. the okay, tell, tell me. Okay, what is this? I know. What, I know what it is. Go ahead. Go ahead. What it is? Um, it is uh, for example one two uh, plus eight. In uh, on of Surah one is mm. an, an uh, uh, even number, and when you count all the even numbers when, mm. from one to a hundred and fourteen mm. uh, together, you get uh, fifty seven. My friend, let and me let me. I, I will not waste my time with this. Let me ask you: Who is better in counting numbers, Allah or Muslims? Uh, what do you mean by that? Okay, isn't it the Quran says in many places that Allah He created the earth and the heaven in six days? Yeah. Okay. Let us say the Muslims are trying their best and they are genius. But the Quran says that Allah He created the earth and the heaven in six days. Yeah. There's no way Allah will make such a mistake and He will make it more days or less days, correct? Yeah. Okay. Let us see what the Quran says. And the Muslims always try to cover up the stupidity. Uh, in the Quran, Muhammad said, not me, that Allah He created 
the earth as the following let us see okay <clears throat> Read with me, please, carefully. Yeah. Uh, say, is that ye deny him who created the earth in two days, correct? Yeah. Okay. Then he set on the earth mountains standing firm high above it, and he bestowed blessing on the earth and the measure of all things in four days does it say four days yeah okay what is the total until now two days here uh, four days here correct yeah yeah okay if we go down we will find allah he count that he created the sun in two days the total is eight so the earth in two days the substance in four days and the the, the sky and everything in it in in two days The you total is what? It. The total is what? It's eight, eight, right? Let me show you another mistake. Look like the Muslims are smarter than the Prophet. Muhammad, he tried to explain how Allah, he created the earth. But let us show first what the Quran says. It is he, Allah, who created the earth and the heaven in six days. Let us confirm that. Does it say that? Yeah. That's it. There's no, there's no confusion. Muhammad look like the Muslims are smarter than him and they can do better math fabricating stuff It says let us see what Muhammad said And this is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Hadith Here we go. Let me show the reference Sahih Muslim 2789 Allah the exalted the glorious Created the clay on Saturday count with me, please what is number one Saturday right yeah okay let me change the color and make it less thick actually let us type here let us type okay so Saturday is number one yeah all right this is he created what he created uh, 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 the clay and then he created the mountain in Sunday this is number two And then he created the trees in Monday. This is number three. Do we agree? Yes. Okay. And then he created the, uh, everything entirely in labor on Tuesday. This is number four. And then he created the light in Wednesday. This is number five. And then he caused the animals to spread in uh, uh, th Thursday. This is number six. And then he created Adam after noon and Friday. This is number seven. So how the Muslims, they calculate those numbers and their prophet even cannot calculate. And he is inspired by Allah, speaking about Allah. He cannot even calculate how many days he just counted. Those are seven. But the Quran says six. Yeah. So isn't it obvious that this is always a scam trying to fool you? Yeah. And I can play my friend with mathematics. I can play all kind of games. I put this. Who is the one who decide if we put half of this and half of that and etc. It's it's us. We can play all of the game. Anyone who have a good knowledge of mathematics, he can come with all the conclusion you want. Yeah, but in Muhammad's time, they didn't even use the. Uh, they didn't even say surah. Example Surah two verse number thirty or something like that. Right. You no, know, it it's Muhammad in Muhammad's time the uh, the Quran was uh, was uh, written in animal skins, bones, stones. No, my friend. But, no, no. This is not true. This is big fat lie. There is no Quran written in time of Muhammad, and there is no Quran after Muhammad. The Muslim they have recitation. This is why if you open the Quran, it says 
that this is a Quran according to Al Mazum, which means the claimed of Uthman. No, nobody have even the Quran of Uthman. The Quran of Muhammad is definitely never exist. More Muslim have it. Then Uthman he came. Uthman he burned all the Qurans, and you remember the Muslim saying that, correct? And then Uthman he made his own yeah. Quran. But do the Muslim today have the Quran of Uthman? No, they don't. That's why if you open the book, it says that this Quran is according to recitation, not writing. Yeah, but that's make, that makes it even more difficult to recite and get these kind of uh, mathematics. No, my friend, there's no mathematics. This is always a fabrication. This is always a fabrication. This is always a fabrication. There's no mathematics there. You see, I showed you, isn't, isn't it all what we saw about, spoke about is mathematics anyway? Um, when we when we say my friend when we say let me search I will try to find this in the in the in the in Google uh, uh, Hold on. Let me see if I can find it in Google. Which one is this one? Okay, how, I can, I, how I can even read it. I mean, it's so small yeah. I can't even read it. But anyway, my friend this is all is garbage and, and the same as get them busted and everything and I do not need even all this mathematics if Allah he made mistakes in other verses if Allah himself make mistakes what who care about the rest do I need yeah, to prove that, anything that is actually the problem some religions actually got real kind of things that uh, really is surprising but at the same time no my friend this is not surprising this is all as a fiction this is all is a lie they they fabricate lies as the same as 19 the same as all the other things and and who is the one is going to really go and study all those things you know i can i can take a look at it and i will show you right away but i'm trying even to find it i can't even open it you know where is the the, the thing to 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 see it what, what i got is very small very tiny i can't even read all right you see let me all, just, uh... all is is just uh you know and i don't want to open like they i saw there's a bdf file i don't want to download things from the internet you see here it says bdf file yeah uh -huh. i'll get the link for you yeah you have to uh, uh when you get it at the, when you get at that facebook page you have to scroll down so you can let see, see the picture. let us see if we click at images in google maybe we can get a better image Okay, let us see here. Maybe this one. Let us go to original website. Yeah, this is seeing this is all is the same garbage. It's the same Facebook thing. Yeah, we are not getting anything good. Yeah, trust me, my friend. This is all is fiction. You see, all those who speak about those miracles, I challenge them to go and count and go live on air. And do the calculation in front of us and then you will see they calculate the words wrong because here when you say this is about calculating words right no this is about uh, calculating verses and uh, sewer numbers okay my friend they are calculating the verses numbers and the chapter numbers based on what the on Quran the, today the, or the, the original on, Quran and the, the the Quran from today it okay uh, but the, but look at this problem now even if this is what they are doing isn't it the Muslim agreeing that the Quran was sent to Allah different from the Quran they have today? Don't yeah. don't tell me you never heard. You see, it's coming still small, my friend. You see, here we go. It's coming oh, very yeah. small. That's actually the Facebook page. Yeah, but it's very small. I can't read it. How I can read it? Oh. You see, it's how small. Look how small it is. Very small. I don't know why. I can't even see it. For me, I can't read it. Maybe, uh, maybe I can sh uh, show you a screenshot. Uh, anyway, my friend, as long as they are calculating based on what the Quran they have today. But this is not what the Quran even Allah they, they gave them. The first verses Allah gave is what? Iqra, right? Yeah. Okay, why didn't do it by what Allah He sent? Uthman, because this is mean Uthman is God. If the calculation, if they claim it is to be true and it is right, and this is what it is, that's mean Uthman is God. Because the one who made the Quran is Uthman. As long as they agree that this is not how they receive the Quran, why they didn't do it according to what how they receive the Quran? Which one is more valuable? <laughs> you know what I mean? And what about we add the verses which is missing? Like when Aisha she said that Allah He uh, uh, that the goat ate the Quran. Yeah, but the Muslims actually say that uh, they will uh, show this mathematics to say that the Quran is has never uh, ever missed a verse. My friend, but this is this is a false. I can show you tons of reference. 
I can show you from now until tomorrow reference of Muslim books about missing missing verses not only missing verses thousands of verses missing because more than 80% of the Quran is gone Omar al-Khattab alone he said that the Quran was a thousand thousand and twenty seven thousand letter yeah. that's mean more than a million and twenty seven thousand letter okay what is the Quran today to a three hundred thousand and you will show me the reference okay. sure no problem here we go don't be a victim of a scam my friend anyway you are out of Islam already but let me show you all right this is Sahir Bukhari so they cannot say I'm making things up we showed you first I should say that the goat ate the Quran, correct? Yeah. Okay. Now let's go second. This is Omar. It says, and this is Sahih Hadith. Let me show it to you yeah. from. Actually, this should be in Sahih Bukhari, but here it doesn't appear in Sahih Bukhari, but it is in Sahih Bukhari. It says, and by the way, anyway, this is Sahih. This is Sunan Ibn Dawood. Does it say Sahih? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Look what it says. I swear by Allah, uh, had it not been so that people might say Omar made an additional to the book of Allah, I would have written it there. What he's talking about? The stoning to death verses. Yeah. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, how do you, why, why you don't calculate that? If there's a verse, and uh, and Aisha, she confirmed that the goat ate it, Omar, he confirmed that he swear by Allah it is there and there's a verse is there and this is a sahih so we if we add this verse alone to the Quran all their calculation is gone correct let's add more yeah okay look at this here it's a sahih Bukhari they can't say it's weak they can't say it's fake all right here you will yeah. see that sahih Bukhari confirmed that there is surahs there is a change on them they are not the same. So look what it says. I am among the people of Kufa. He said, weren't the monks of you, the carrier of the prophet shoes, siwak, and the abolition of water container. The Muslim, they used to, to even collect his dirt to wash with it, to, to, to supposedly to get the blessing of Allah. Weren't yeah. they among you, a man who give, gives Allah refuge from shaitan? And we're not there amongst you, the men who used to give a prophet secrets which nobody also know. How did Ibn uh, uh, Umu Abd, i.e. Abdullah Ibn Mas'ud, Ibn Mas'ud, Muhammad actually, this is the Quran which uh, Uthman, he burned, right? Ibn Mas'ud. Yeah. And by the way, Muhammad, he says to take the Quran from four, and one of them is Ibn Mas'ud. But they did not take it. <laughs> Which means they, they disobey their prophet order. And then, okay, you have to recite Surah Al Layl, the night. I recited by the night as it's involved, by the day as it appears in brightness, and yep. by male and female, where we can find that in the Quran. <clears throat> And yeah. that is Abu Durad said by Allah the Prophet made me read the verse in this way after listening to him. He swear by Allah. Yeah. Okay, but the verse is not like this in the Quran. Yeah. In different place, <coughs> a Christian uh He left Islam. He was a writer. Yeah. Uh, he was a writer of the Quran for Muhammad. He's, he's, he's a scribe. Yeah. He left Islam and he said, I swear that Muhammad, he do not know what I wrote for him except what I wrote for him. Except what I wrote for him. Which yeah. means the guy he is saying, I made a lot of Quran. I fabricated Quran. And Muhammad, he have no idea what I'm writing for him. Let me let me find you the reference so we can see together. Um, <clears throat> um, oh, I uh, I I sent it you the picture. Maybe you can see it now. Yeah, you know, my friend, I don't even need it. I mean, that's it. I mean, garbage is garbage. We're not making a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, there's uh, there is tons of verses, uh, and the Muslims are in big big trouble. I can like I can keep going, showing you. Let us see. Um, Let me show you. Yeah, I uh, I believe. No, no, it's okay. I'm sharing, I'm just sharing knowledge with not only with you. I mean, people they are listening. Um, let us see what Omar. I'm trying to find the hadith of Omar, where he said the Quran is a thousand thousand letter. Okay. Um, here we go. Uh, and anything, anything the Muslim today will make make their book look funny and stupid. They say uh, this is we don't accept. But I showed you Sahir Bukhari. I showed you, and I can show you ten, ten more. This is the book of Faid al Qadir, Sharh al Jami al Sagir, very number four. All right, page number three five six. You can see the screen, right? Yeah. Okay. Al Quran, Al Quran. ألف ألف حرف وسبعة وعشرون ألف حرف فمن قرأه صابرا محتسبا كان له بكل حرف زوجة من حر العين Translation Omar he said according to his prophet that the Quran is a thousand thousand and twenty seven thousand letter so the one who read it with patient and, and uh, 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 faithful Allah will give him for every letter a version to F her so Allah will yeah. give me a million and twenty-seven versions to sleep with. The equal number of the letters of the Quran. Ta'sa and Umar. And this is the reference in front of us. And this is the page as it is in the book. Yeah, yeah. All right, my friend. Well, I'm happy for you that you decide to leave you, Islam. Uh, you opened my eyes. I didn't uh, realize this much. Well, well this is why I'm here, my friend, to share with you and whoever are seeking, seeking knowledge. And you know, uh, uh, you know, you, you have your brain and you are smart. I'm not going to think for you. You think for yourself, but I do my duty just to share with you my knowledge. And then you made a decision. And now you said you are going to search. If you have a questions about Christianity, there is a brother. His name is Sam Shamoon. You can contact yeah. him and he will be happy to explain to you. However, for me, I, I will be happy to invite you to accept my Lord and my Savior as, as your Savior. If you like to accept right now, it's up to you. If you want to think about it, it's up to you. But I want to remind you that we might go to sleep whenever we wake up. And I want to remind you, don't make people fool you by mathematics. Because if mathematics would make me believe in God, then the one who made satellite is God. The one who made the spaceship, because this is mathematics, this is a pure mathematics. Mathematics yeah. and physics. If that guy can do that, that means he must be God. The one who wrote Shakespeare of language will make me believe that God is the one who wrote a book. That means Shakespeare is God. Yeah. Right? Don't make them fool you. The Quran is the most stupid book ever. The language is wrong. The grammar is wrong. But because you don't speak Arabic, and who dare anyway to speak against the Quran? If I am now in the Middle East, do you think I can say a word? Even in the time of Muhammad, people, they were laughing at the Quran, saying to him, this is a fabulous, this is, you know, the, 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 the funny, the Muslim, they say, uh, but the Quran challenged the Arab at that time and told him, Who can make Quran like this? And nobody was able. This is what the Quran is saying. The Quran said the opposite that the Arab said to him, This is stupid and silly. If you want to write it the same, we can. Read with me. We have signed or uh, rehearsed to them, chapter 8, verse number 31. They said, we have heard this before. If we wished, we could say a word like this. You see it? And they are to him, this is nothing but the tales of the ancient. This is a great that. So they were making fun of the Quran. Nobody was amused. They were amused. But this is a very stupid book. Yeah, I, uh, I accept Jesus. I do. Hallelujah, my friend. I'm really happy for you. 
and uh, I accept Jesus. But I'm still gonna uh, research on uh, religion, but to me, Christianity makes more sense. My friend, it's not only about Thanks. sense. Only listen carefully. Jesus is not only about making sense. Yeah. Jesus is about good and bad. Jesus is the good and totally pure good, and God is good. Jesus is a miracle in the same time, and God is a miracle. Yeah. Jesus, he is the name which you cannot regret to be with. So it's not, you know, I'm not going to pray to prove Jesus for you by mathematics because that would be silly. Yeah. Because all the mathematics and all the knowledge we have in this earth is nothing compared what God he did. Yeah. To me, um, when I came to Islam, I was actually disappointed because I first thought that this was actually the religion of truth. But first, I wanted Christianity to be the truth because uh, because Jesus, he, he was someone uh, really loving. And Muhammad was kind of someone who was kind of harsh, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, my friend, I'm really happy for you that you accepted the Messiah. And yeah. I'm happy that I did not waste my time today with you. Uh, and I hope that people they are listening they learned a lot from what you said we have a very nice uh, conversation maybe it's long and maybe I have a headache by now but I'm happy that at least I was be able to help you to do to do the right decision and to be out of this cult and uh, uh, feel free to call me when you have anything you want to say and I pray and I ask all the Christians to pray for our new brother who accepted the Messiah as his savior and he denounced Islam for this is fiction stupidity tons of fabrication and the Muslims because they are so desperate they try to find a miracle in a book itself says we refrain from sending miracles yeah. do you, do you uh, know where I can uh, contact uh, the guy who's named uh, uh, Sam? Uh, I will I will find his page in YouTube and I will uh, guys can somebody send uh, post the page of his uh, of uh, Sam Shamoon in the text in the chat they will post it for you if not I will post it to your to your Skype myself all right you can go to his page he do live broadcast and if you're free and by the way you can call me too I mean but but he, for him this is what he do I mean this is like he love to do that my, my specialty is to speak about Islam you can search yeah. for this name let us do this um, let me see I will search on YouTube right now as we speak see if I can find his channel and he have a Facebook too okay um, let us see a uh, girl uh, already sent the link all right that's good that's good my friend thank you very much for being here and uh, may the Lord bless you and I pray for you and your family yeah. Yes, uh, uh, no, no, never mind. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Thank you. All right, people, they are posting the link for you. And tell him that Christian Prince, tell him I left Islam in uh, in Christian Prince uh, 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 broadcast and I accepted Jesus, but I I, I want to ask you some questions if you have any. And I, I encourage you, actually, I encourage you to ask questions. You see, we are not stupid like Muslims who just uh, like go by like, oh, you know, Allah, Allahumma, Allahumma. We don't do that. The best Christian of us is the one who study more and the one who search yeah. more and the one who believe for he's convinced you know so yeah. ask questions don't be shy not you know in the Quran you know the Quran says ask no questions right yeah, yeah. do you know that in chapter 5 verse yeah. 101 <laughs> ask no questions <laughs> yeah yeah so the, in, in Christianity is the opposite Jesus says search the books read the books and find the truth and the truth will will, will set you free yeah. so in Christianity yeah. you are required to read more and to 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 ask yeah. do you know the, uh, the guy uh, Facebook so I can uh, contact him uh, yeah guys can somebody uh, send me his Facebook to Sam Shamoon to my Skype so I can send it to him or I don't know if it can go through maybe the admin can post it in the yeah. in the chat all right my friend if they do not send it to you there, I will I will send it to you in Skype. All right. All right. I'm gonna yeah, I am going to leave now. All right, thank you, my no. friend. And I'm happy for you that they accept the Messiah 
and yeah. we pray together that the Lord will, will, will keep you in guidance and he will not make you keep you away from the confusion of the devil who yeah. try everything he can to make you believe in him and trust me in the top of that the devil is powerful yeah and I can make a book now have equal words in it yeah and then somebody he can come and he can make it a miracle same time uh, you know I don't know if you watch videos I made before you will see how the Muslim they lie when they speak about equal numbers because they decide yeah. what is equal what is words what is uh, like you know Norman Khan when he want he he uh, he count the word lem as an example as a word when he want he counted as letter <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, false people anyway thank you my friend so, <clears throat> somebody send me the link for uh, for uh, Sam Shamoon yeah I, I uh... I already got it. All right, that's good. That's wonderful. Take care, my friend. God bless you. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. Hallelujah. Ah, I have a headache, to be honest with you. But it's worth it. Is it? How many hours? But it is worth it. Going from place to place, from curve to curve, from topic to topic. But thanks, thanks to the Lord, you know, our work did not go for nothing. Uh, I don't believe I am the one who made you believe, my friend. I believe the Lord, He invited you, and you received the invitation. But I want people to be aware that Jesus said that there is many even they will do even miracles. But Jesus will say to them, depart from me. I do not know you. Even they will do miracle in his name, not in the name of Muhammad. Still, Jesus will say, depart from me. I do not know you. They will say, Lord, we did miracles in your name. So deceivers, which is shaitan, Satan, he changed his format. He changed the way he do things. What are you? Who are you? Are you a religious person? I will come to you from the door of religion. Are you a person who like gambling? I will come to you from the door of gambling. Are you a person who like women? I will come to you from the door of, of women. Are you a person who like men? I will, what do you like? I will be there. He come to you changing his form. This is why they say, said, they will come to you in a cloth of, or cloth of sheep, but they are wolves. Be aware of false prophets. They change their forms. False prophet here is the devil himself. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord. You want to know somebody? Know them from their fruits. I'm not going to study Muhammad so much. It's enough for me to study his fruits. Let us say Muhammad, he wrote a book which nobody can write like. But his fruit is ugly. How he can be from God. Don't make them fool you. The Lord, he gave us the key of wisdom from their fruits don't tell me that you are speaking in the name of god but yet you are a child molester rapist gang leader thief caravan attacker that cannot be from god you see if you go today who is the one who live in a very nice houses drug dealers the poor me and you we struggle to pay our bills but the drug dealer he have a nice fancy cars, not car. He changed his car maybe by changing his shoes. He have the biggest villas. He have party every day. So the outside is amazing, but the inside is ugly. And sadly, people, they go by the outside. So the Muslim try to make the grave of Muhammad look so beautiful, covered by marble. But my friend, the grave is a grave. You want to see what the grave is? Get inside. So they fabricate all those miracles in order to make you believe that the grave of Muhammad is heaven. And we are smarter than this. God is not a vagina vendor. Ask yourself from the beginning. I mean, we have a God. If I believe in him, he will give me. A, you know, We just saw, uh, saw uh, Omar saying that Allah will give you uh, the Quran is a, mil a million and twenty seven letters and every Quran your every ver uh, letter you read Allah will give you a version for I mean how silly is that Allah will give me a million and twenty seven thousand women to sleep with 
this, this, this is disgusting. A Quran promising me that I will have boys who will they will serve me forever as slaves. Slavery in heaven. I mean, we are fighting, you see, people who they have little dignity, they are fighting slavery. But even in the heaven of Allah, we are going to have slaves. Why? Because I believe in Allah. So Allah, He cannot make me happy without bringing me little boys who will they be serving me for eternity, which means they did not choose to be slaves. That's it. Allah decide that you, you are created just to be His slave. That's it. I mean, how nice of you. How nice of this God to create children to be slaves for eternity. What is justice? Aren't they human? They say yes. Okay, is it right to make a human serving a human? Child abuse in the heaven of Allah. How this is can be God. Let them make all the fictions and lies about mathematics in the Quran. That is the most stupid claim. That actually a disgusting claim. Muhammad father, they call him Abdullah, but Muhammad Muhammad father never been called Abdullah. My friend, uh, we can, you see, in the Middle East right now, if somebody is unknown, unknown father, they say to him, Abdullah Fulan. Abdullah Fulan, Fulan mean uh, etc. person. Abdullah mean a slave of Allah. Anyone is unknown, they call him Abdullah. Are you getting the point? And this actually, I believe this is what it's meant. Because if Muhammad father is really his name is Abdullah, which means the slave of Allah, how he is not believing in Allah? And he will go to hell. He is a slave of Allah, but he don't believe in Allah. Hello? Hey, brother Christian Prince. Hey, how are friend, you? How are you? I'm fine. Hey, this is this is Rob Christian. Hi. Good to have you, my friend. Hey, good to have you too. Well done, bro. Again, another guy saved for Jesus Christ. His name, Hallelujah. I mean, I mean to that. You know, we are Amen, happy for bro. him. We are happy for him. Yeah, really, man. Uh, everyone in the in the text, uh, we're so happy for this guy. Oh man, unbelievable! You're doing a very good job, bro. Keep it up. May God uh, keep you healthy. Actually, but, you know what? I wasn't. I was. I wasn't uh, sure that he will. He will uh, respond to my my invitation. Yeah. Uh, because he was kind of. Uh, I felt like he is insisting to stay there. You know, somehow. Yeah. You know. But it, you managed, and uh, you know, this this is the fruit of Christianity, bro. This is the truth of Jesus Christ. I mean, uh, only the truth will prevail, right? Yeah. Well, we do our best, and you know, people they make decisions. What we can say, uh, uh, Christian Prince. You know, when you were talking about the cow and the milk, I was waiting for you to uh, to to uh, knock him out on the part when uh, in uh, when the cow, according to Allah, he hit uh, uh, that guy with the cow to make him alive again. But you didn't do that, man. Yeah, no, I because we, because, <laughs> because we were waiting. We are talking about how the milk is generated. This is different topic, so we stay away. You know. <laughs> yeah. But rough, you know, rough yeah. is the is the is the the poop or the you know all what the verse saying and the Muslim they try to make a miracle of it that it's yeah. a miracle there that the the poo -poo, the, the, the cow eat the grass and the grass became poo, -poo and the, yeah. and the, and the, um, uh, the cow have a blood but yet we have milk yeah. where is the milk yeah, is I was from? I was following you in the Arabic text you know as I know as you know I I also know Arabic mm -hmm. and you were perfectly <laughs> explaining it because that's what the Arabic says it says clearly uh, uh dung that's the the perfect uh, explanation yeah, rough, for it. You know, rough is is uh, is, yeah. is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is the poop. Yeah. So what the, what the Quran is saying? It's a miracle how we did not mix the poop of the cow inside her with the blood, and you have a pure milk. Yeah, it's unbelievable, man. As simple as that. But you know, yeah. when you have no, when you have, uh, uh, you know, when you have no miracle, then yeah. you try to find, uh, you know, try to to make a miracle. No. Yeah. Uh, uh, Christian Prince, maybe uh, uh, if you can uh, explain to the people in the in the chat about uh, the poetry of uh, Amrul Qais, 
Yeah. It's really interesting, uh, that topic. Maybe you can show them also, if you Google it, you can find a picture yeah. exactly uh, from uh, the text of Amro Qais, right. which, uh, who was uh, a couple uh, hundred years before Islam and before Muhammad. And, you, and Muhammad took it copy-paste, exactly the same poetry of Amro Qais, and he put it in the Quran about... Uh, uh, you know, you know all these uh, ayahs, right? Yeah, and I believe there are four ayahs or something many. But, uh, that Muhammad, yeah, many, but at least four, and he copy pasted it. And uh, my friend, it's in, a my, copy in my paste book, religion. in my book, Quran and Science, I have tons of those things, not only from Umar Qais, from many books, because Muhammad was copying from many. Yeah, yeah. from the but this Sanhedrin, is, but, but this, is the, Sanhedrin. this is the poetry. This is the poetry, oh. <clears throat> and you know the poetry is very beautiful, actually. <clears throat> yeah. Muhammad he copied from it. This is why he, he took it. This is about yeah, the same yeah. about the moon That's state. true. Yeah, mm. yeah. Because uh, when when uh, Amr al Qais he is talking about uh, the splitting of the moon, he is talking about uh, uh, love love between him and and a woman. Yeah. How the suddenly <laughs> uh, a poetry about the love of a woman bet between a, a husband and his wife became a splitting the moon? Actually, splitting the moon. Yeah. You know, you see, you see people guys, don't know that. <clears throat> Yeah, you see guys i'm losing my voice you see the poetry this is the poetry in front of me muhammad he copied let me show you the part he copied that is uh, here yes that one let me highlight um okay so he copied this part from the poetry and then he copied that part he copied that part copy this part uh, then, uh, 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 here into this part, and and Nurukum on Zahar, Zahar, this part, and then yeah. he continue. I mean, he is copying is exactly word by word. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Min hab, min hab this, is, this is a love story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a love story between a man and and his wife. And we know we know about the history of Amr al Qais, uh, Christian Prince. He was like uh, the Romeo, basically the Casanova of his time. He yeah. was writing poetry, and he was loved by many women in, in his lifetime. You know, he was, he was like uh, he was like Hugh Hefner, right? He, anyway, but you know, at that time, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, and by the way, he was supposedly Christian too. Yeah. Yeah. So he's a well-known guy, right? <laughs> yeah, but but uh, but that at that time you know uh, poetry for women it was very i mean th th those are desert people they have nothing to do except poetry they speak poetry yes. they don't yeah. even talk language they you know they speak to each other at poetry you know yeah so when yeah and, and yeah and, and that's why that's why the people who knew about this poetry that muhammad stole this is why they are everyone in the quran they are telling to muhammad you're nothing but a scam you are stealing uh, uh, fr from things that were that are already known. Yeah. So people who knew, who could write and read, they knew about this poetry. But you know, a lot of people illiterate, actually illiterate in the desert, they cannot uh, write, write and read. So they believe Muhammad. Yeah. Well, we are here to expose it. What we can do? Yeah. It's uh, you know, Islam is uh, made by illiterate, so-called illiterate, but. We know he could write and read very well, but it's made for illiterate people who follow a blind, blind religion, blind political I ideology, basically. Uh, it's it's not easy to say to yourself, "I was a fool all my life, following a following a liar." Yeah, you know, yeah, so, exactly. So, yeah, uh, and you and you gave a good example. You know, it took you a lot of hours to convince this brother. Finally, he accepted Christ. So it, it takes time. For some people, it takes two hours. For some people, it takes many, many months, many years. But yeah, we have hope for everyone. And this is what, why we are doing this, right? You are doing this here. I'm doing it on Paul Talk. So yeah, I, I hope everyone is uh, supporting you, uh, supporting this uh, great work. And uh, God bless my friend.